I, I did not AP grind in Final Fantasy IX. I don't know if I should do that on air or not, but as of this moment, I haven't, which probably means I won't, because I got stuff to do tomorrow, and then I stream on Monday. So we might have to spend some of Monday doing an AP grind. Um, the United States of America has created the SCP Foundation. I don't know if anyone's in the Discord and saw that, so, oh, you know, or if you had no clue what that is, just the United States of America has publicly created the Men in Black. Uh, that's the best way to, uh, to take that. Which has got everyone freaking out. Everyone. Everyone, everyone, everyone. And by everyone, I mean like two people. <laughs> this. I don't think I need these notes. I think those are Final Fantasy IX notes. No. How are you guys? Turn Dwarf on. Dwarf is on. Oh shit, Dwarf's not on. In the thing, I saw it. I saw Mountain Home responding to you in the chat bot. There is no soul by your name. For some reason, I saw the response and was like, yeah, I guess that means it's on. We're, we're good to go. There you go. It should be on now. Was the space police too unnecessary to really have to go and make bootleg SCP Foundation? So the crazy... At one point, my audio wasn't that loud. Um, the real crazy thing about it is... The SCP Foundation is like three layers of bureaucracy removed from the president. So I don't think like a president even gets to choose who's in it. Like... So they're just doing whatever they, it's like the CIA basically. They're just doing whatever they want. It's like the new SCP Foundation is under like the direct command of the Under Secretary of Defense of Information and like science or some stupid nonsense like information and security. Like so you have the president, you have the the the, the secretary, the Secretary of Defense the Under Secretary of Defense of Information and Security or whatever the hell it's called. I'm like, who's in charge of what? And they're doing one of those classic things like, oh yeah, this organization is a mixture of four other organizations that no one's ever heard of before. So you know somewhere there's like, there's now a gray area of what is or is not their responsibilities and rights. Like every time they do that, every time they mix together organizations like that, bad shit happens. Because someone will be like, okay, I'm, make, I'm completely making shit up here, but your organization's job is to protect this tree. And uh, pfft, you can do everything possible to protect that tree, including gunning people down. Again, this is completely made up. I'm going to like extremes here. And then they're going to mix it with like some other organizations like, oh, your job is to like, Build new roads. And then whenever that gets mixed, you end up with like some government organization whose job it is to build new roads and gun people down to make sure it can happen. Like, does that make sense? Like this is this is how you end up with like all these conspiracy theories about these organizations and shit. Because you give some of these organizations a certain responsibility and certain powers to go with that responsibility. Then you mix them together and like the new organization always just seems to inherit like every fucking power of the parent organizations even if said powers would no longer be applicable it's it's crazy so yeah this this new scp foundation inheriting like the jobs of three or four previous unrelated groups in the government is definitely not sketchy at all don't look into that it's almost like it's a um persona where, 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 where you're mixing together the, uh, the 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 ghosts in you, whatever I, the personas, you know how you can like you can just choose what powers you want for like the new persona. They've taken four personas, four government organization personas, and mixed them into one, and you know they're just choosing like every single OP ability that was never designed to be together. Like, one of the things I put in the Discord was like, okay, what's their responsibility? Let's see if I can track it down real quick. It was like, what is their responsibility? And their responsibility included, like, a word that I've never heard of before. Hold on, was it under memes? Yeah. Um, they're charged with something, something security. This includes anomalous, unidentified, space, airborne, 
submerged and trans medium objects. The fuck is trans medium? Like, like th th this is just a word that they have revealed. I've never heard, hold on, I'm gonna Google this. I've never heard of this word before. Is this a word? Like, I'm assuming it's intermedium, right? I, I Googled transmedium and I found a bunch of news articles being like, what the fuck is transmedium? According to uh, Wiktionary, a transmedium is a psychic who is able to cross boundaries between the natural and supernatural worlds. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Didn't even stop disabling. Um... Trans medium took refers to the ability of an object to fly across multiple environments. For example, an object could be considered trans medium if it could fly through the atmosphere in addition to another environment such as space or underwater. So yeah, basically, but here's the thing, right? Like genuinely think about this. That's what it's usually used to refer to, i.e. something that can go between two different things. But that can just apply to any two different things. Like, if there's a truck that's also a boat, those have existed. If there's an amphibious vehicle, right, that's now a transmedium object. It has gone through the medium of being land, and now it is in the water. Is transmedium also, it can be on the water and it can be submerged? Or is that just one medium? I know they already have sea, so it doesn't matter, or ocean, whatever. But, like... That is such a generic term that is like ripe for abuse. If you drive your if you drive your car up a hill fast enough and you like you, you launch off the hill, you've gone from ground to airborne. Are you now transmedium? There's no way this is gonna be abused at all ever. Hey, gentle sentient. Uh, why didn't I hear you getting dwarf number one? I don't think I heard the... Arr! The underwear secretary is my career goal. Mankind's entirety is a transmedium object. The FBI is investigating every single human. Well, this isn't even the FBI. Like, that's also another goofy thing to be worried about. This is completely separate from, like, every other organization. So yet another weird area of who gets to do what. Um, am I, does my head move a little bit? At some point I'm gonna get a different fucking stand for that. Uh, who got dwarfed? Mr. Man. Mr. Man team, what are we on? Are we on your second or your third? Also, Mr. Man, at least for right now, you're a stone crafter. Hold on, let, let, let's go check the archives of the dead and see if any of these list a Mr. Man TM the second. There's, Echo, there's Mr. Man the first. All right, he just appears to be the first, uh, the second. I live amazing. And now he wants to be in the military. Of course you do. Everyone loves dying. Mr. Man TM. Where will he go? Listed. All right. Now, for the actual game. Because <laughs> who wants to talk about the game? Um, where we are is, I believe we were heading towards a third layer. Yes, I had started to dig out a third layer, started to compress it. And our big issue was bedrooms right now we have eight units still without a bedroom because we have we have 85 beds why do i have so many units how's my booze my booze is doing good we've got to do yet another series of rooms or at least a temporary something to stockpile them in now the idea was we had four areas right we had four areas we were gonna have four areas and about 120, a little over 120 dwarves, meaning 30 dwarves to an area. What we have in this configuration is eight, 16, 24, 32. We should be able to do up to 64 dwarves. However, comma, we have 18, hence those excess dwarves. Couple, couple, some of them are handled because of the uh, being couples. So 
I think I need to go yet somewhere else. Because F1 doesn't exist. This is the first one. This is the second one. And we're only at 100. I think I said the next layer need to be down at 70. And I haven't even built up this one yet. So, and I heard the, the dwarfing this time. I don't know which one of these have to turn up. What we need to do is I need to somewhere come up with a series of bedrooms that I'm not going to let be bedrooms later. I, I need emergency. Also, hello, Firehawk. How are you doing this day? I need to figure out where to get these excess dwarves so that they don't mess up what I'm doing in the future. Um, Because the new area is also going to need its own tavern. I'm thinking because this floor is like this, I do like this design. I was thinking about just mirroring this for the next one so that there's at least some variety. Uh, to do to do eight rooms. If I do this sort of thing again in the next area, for right now, I can use some of these as bedrooms if I just do the same thing. So that would involve, was it three in? It was four in, and then it was a seven across right afterwards. Four in with a seven across. Oh, uh, you've been doing. I think it's been a while since I've seen you, Firehawk. How how are you? Yeah, long time to see. My life is fantastic. My thing came back from the government. I got my rating, which is really good, seven by nine. Um, I lost every claim I was doing, but essentially my claim was done in such a goofy way that I won the war, so to speak. So I got more kind of than I was even 26 by eight than I was even claiming. I'm still waiting for things to settle on that because everything with the government is just always weird. Like I had an idea from my VA agent, the, the VA support officer or something like that. I, I forget what their actual position is. Hold on, three five by fives earlier than I had had it from the government, but you have to wait for it to be official from the government. And that didn't even get official, I think, until the 5th of July. I think that's when the file finally closed out, even though I think I had a form from before then. So still working on that, but it's kind of a, you, 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 like, you know, victory lap would be an incorrect term, but they, they've admitted that, that I've essentially won the case. Now I've just got to, you know, get them to do anything with it in a manner of speaking. Everything's slow and involves the government. Um, I don't know what I'm putting down there, but I do like the design that I'm doing here. Now, this one can't be the same because it happened to be like that. However, comma, it could. It could be the same. Um, no, no, it can't because of the cave. Why does the cave mess up everything, chat? Why does the cave always mess up everything? If we did another series back here, Like so. I'm gonna lower the AC a little bit. That's gone out one too far. And then from the one that has a loop, it's supposed to go out eight. And I, I can't go out eight. I can go out Oh my God, it just fits. Holy shit. It's like it was supposed to be. It's like we were designed to be amazing. Hell yeah. I love it when shit just works. That, this, okay. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna mirror it because the second floor, I think is supposed to be where the first layer where I'm actually doing floor stuff is at. So we're gonna free up a lot of excess stone, but I'm thinking between this area and that area, we can compress the stone down and get it out of the way. Also in the short term, if I build a couple beds, we can give a couple of people in this area like little one by one bedrooms. Shouldn't be a problem. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna do that now. We'll throw them in a hallway if we have to. Where is the damn carpenter? This is where I gotta get the stone out of the way so I can move all this shit inside. Bed, 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 bed. More beds. We'll do that. Big room is off by at least one. Uh oh.
You're saying I made this as a nine? No, that's an eight. Eight by seven. I say eight by seven. 28 by eight there. 27 by eight. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're right. There is one here. Good eye. I don't know how I wasn't seeing that. Very good eye. Um, what I don't need to be doing right now is I don't need this in the hallway. I That's just a carryover because at the beginning, I wasn't sure what I was doing. I was putting in that extra stairwell that uh, I'm not using right now. The area from first to second is in the middle, right? So first to second is not on the left, meaning I have to leave something untouched because it has to be a wall for the, the other stairwell to go through if I'm doing a punch through. So starting here, I need to not touch, which I think is, is that aligned with a door? I'm gonna have to go through a cave at some point anyways. That is aligned with a door. Is that aligned with the room? Well, that's obnoxious, but the beauty of it is something's wrong. Hey, Hellfire, how's it going? I was just talking about you. I was slightly late. It's your fault. I'm blaming you. Why would I accept responsibility for myself? Hellfire Skyrim, without doing a thing, he was doing Fallout 4 that he had modded to be like a Resident Evil game. And the two big important things that I remember is uh, the developers of the mod hate you because they make you have to lockpick everything and it is way too hard. And the other thing was that he was gaining levels without doing anything. Those are the two main things that I remember. Oh, and safe houses. He was having an issue with the safe house. How are you doing, Hellfire? All right, something is wrong with my layout. One, this being there, not bad. I haven't done anything with it. So if it's in the way, then it's in the way. But here that lines up with a second from the right in the left square, whereas down here that lines up with the furthest right because all of these are supposed to be by the wall. I've done every room off by one, haven't I? That's what my issue is. Probably should actually shout you out though so people get the link, shouldn't I? Boop. There you go. So if you wanna see someone fight the zombies, you go. You go and give Hellfire Skyrim a look-see. Also, you all know him, so give him a look-see. <laughs> Everyone known, if it is known, known is, is known, 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 knowns. You know? Now we know. makes that one hallway even less necessary. Doo -doo. Which means the rooms up here stick out one? Is that why I had done it originally with one? No, they're supposed to be the same floor. So why is this coming out weird? This is only 26, it's 28 wall to wall. All right, so two gets eaten off of this. One gets eaten off. This will make sense. All right, left wall is smooth. Left wall is smooth. We're back to this making sense. And like I said, that one stairwell is kind of obnoxious, but I haven't actually done anything with it, so I'm not that worried. Wherever it is, though, we're going to have to, like, as a matter of fact, I'm going to cut this off anyways right now, 
just so that whenever we do go ahead and do it, I want there to be a way around it so it's not gonna be the fours and it's gonna be walled off in a natural thing through. I want it to be a through hole, not a, an actual destination. Ah, there's a separate mod. Mr. Man says, a glorious statue of my new dwarf made by me, built by me, to be placed in the hospital. You can't make anything now. I just made you a... Why, why are you killing me, Smalls? Mr. Man, I, you said you wanted to be in the military and then went, said you wanted to go back and do stoning. I don't even know how to make this guarantee. Okay, we'll put this back on for Mr. Man. Um... Mason's Workshop. Mr. Man, TM the second, the enlisted. Doing a statue about historical figure. I think that'll work. If I say do now, will I see if he can do it? It's not becoming... Because he might be active in training. He's getting provisions right now. Said soldier, no activity. Like, why did you be a soldier and then want to go back and be like, no, now I want to do things. Yeah, your guy's going to training, dude. You're, you're never going to do this. <laughs> why? Why did you do that? You're just making it hard. No, I turned on masonry for him. I left off stone detailing. Do I need stone detailing for this? Now you're gonna watch people dance. I'll live. <laughs> Stop dodging. I like how for a second it's like leading dodging or waiting or something. How many times can people dodge? All right, hold on. He's a soldier. I'm kicking him out of the military. Okay, now he's doing the statue. And he had to grab that rock for some reason. That rock was clearly the best rock, not like the five rocks around him or anything. Also, we need to build more doors. I keep forgetting... I keep stealing the doors for other things, but this is why we have that. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's about to do this thing anyways. Do, 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 do. All right, has he built? All right, you said to put... they can work and train they have to like they technically all have time off it, it i set it up to only need three people at any one time for training i don't do full squad trainings but my luck it chooses the worst one all right we'll put in we'll put hellfire back in oh not hellfire mr man put mr man back into the military then we'll turn this off from requiring mr man i got it done though that is all that matters. Anyone can build, because I need just lots of doors. I'm gonna make them all out of Gabbro because I said so. There we go. Let that get done. Water buffalo's been missing. How's a water buffalo been missing? How and or why has a water buffalo been missing? You said you wanted that in the hospital. Okay. We don't have a hospital. Hospitals don't exist. There we go. What am I doing with this other statue, by the way, Mr. Man? I don't know why I have another Mr. Man statue. 
I had that horrible problem with goblets. Why'd you walk 100 levels for that one? Because because that's his special goblet. I don't know. I had been a goblet by every drink stockpile. Oh, good. A, a mood. M my, my favorite. You have goblets in here? They do have Gabbro mugs. All right. What do you guys say? It says you want 60, but you only have 51. Do I have to make another one? Do I have another chest to put in there? This is for beds. Hold on. The coffers go on the inside. So many coffers. I remember that is where we left off was me trying to get people's beds even done. All right, they're digging that out. In the meantime, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight beds. Just got to deal with living there. I'll move the masons and stuff down here. We will have an issue with the stone stockpiles up above. So I can't move everything, everything down yet. But since we've created an under dirt dirt, we can now move the above dirt dirt to the under dirt dirt, and then we'll be good. And that makes sense to someone. Yes. So we need another stone stockpile up here. You can race it from the doors and see what it grabs now. Idlers should go down a bit because we have a lot of stones for people to haul up out of there. The problem is they're going to move stones out of this room and they really don't need to be doing that yet. These stones are fine. <laughs> there's no point in moving a stone up if... There's, just leave them alone. Grab different stones. Yeah, there you go. Didn't I have a third water? They should all be pinned. We probably had a migrant wave and it like starved to death in the middle of the tavern or some shit. I should check to see how this is working anyways. You, are there animals you don't have? Well, you have all these ones. Can I put the depot in here? No, because of the road. This road is to the right, right? I'm going to get rid of that road. Because that upper left corner is just going to be the trade depot. Then this area to the right can be a bit of where I put the trade goods. You know what I'm saying? And I can just essentially wall it off except with a door. And that should force all future caravans to take the normal way through instead of trying to navigate their way through trees like idiots. Uh-oh. Has he begun? He claimed it, but did he be he got taken by a mood. He never began. Of course he hasn't begun. Why would he begin? Stone, 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 bone, gem, tree. Stone, bone, Gem, tree, another shining gem. Cause we have wood. Do we have wood? I feel like he stopped on wood for a second. Build construction wall. Do I have wood? Build construction wall. I do have wood, but not many. All right, time to get some more wood. Because there's no way we're out of gems. You said shining gem, right? 
Rough. Rough. I thought I cut a bunch. Didn't I specifically cut a bunch of gems? Where are all my gems going? Uh, we are going to cut Tanzanite. To oh, and retired Navy vet's vet is still depressed. Of course he is. Is this the, yes, the Etin Kural Ustanu has come. A giant humanoid monster with two heads. Twice the heads, twice the dead. Ha ha ha. All right, um, well, it's a good thing that we got a military and no one in it just joined and are in fact scrub lords. Let's see where he's going. I was not anticipating that maneuver. He's just an Etten, so he should be fine to handle. You know, as long as the military goes to the right location. As long as the military goes to the right location! Some unknown dude is dead. He's... He's dead? All right, we've killed the Etten. Who killed the Etten? Where is the Etten in this list? Also, I need to turn on vanilla music because boss fights always get rid of the sounds for some reason. Where's the Etten? Who killed you, Etten? The excavator strikes the Etten in the upper body with the bronze pick, tearing apart the muscle, fracturing the left floating rib? That wouldn't have been lethal. Tear apart the muscle in the head. It must have bled out or something. And the Etten wasted time punching out a cat. Okay. I don't think anyone will, because this usually doesn't work, but let's see if anyone got credit for the kill. Wrong tab. Goblin, 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 goblin. Come on, go away. Well, that guy killed a dwarf. That's not suspicious. According to that, no one got credit for a kill. All right, he he got he got he got killed by. Uh, it's not riot justice, mob justice. Nice. What did he need? He wanted another Tanzanite. Okay, you know, you wanted two Tanzanites. Rough Tanzanite and two, okay. Whatever, he got what he needed. Stop cutting Tanzanite. All right, down below, the stone has not been completed. I'm gonna wait to redraw that bottom one. Because they're just moving it five inches anyways. We're going to wait to redraw the bottom one once they finish digging. I don't want to keep redrawing it. Over. Good, the mandate's over. I was worried about that mandate. We had a mandate? We have a mayor. The mayor is very angry. Done any world stuff? Please um, uh, phrase the question. I don't know what that means. What do you mean any world stuff? Mayor Coca-Cola II. Long may he reign as mayor. That's a funny word for big fat jerk. Okay, sure. That's what it is. Funny word for big fat jerk. All right, so we definitely have room. Lokem Rigothabir, holler has created Nibel Kugan, a slate ring. He claims as an heirloom the name of the family ancestor Sakzul clasp chains. Nibel Kugain, Admire Sand, a slate ring worth 79,200 dwarf bucks. This is a slate ring 
All craft store ship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with bands of rectangular siltstone cabicons, cushioned slate cabicons, and single cut tanzanites. Jobject menaces with spikes of slate, wild boar bone, and tanzanite. On the item is an image of Kogon gravel bite, the dwarf and dwarves, and avocado wood. Kogan gravel bite is surrounded by the dwarves. The orc relates to the ascension of the dwarf Kogan gravel bite to the position of king of the past palace in the year one. On the item is an image of a lentil plant in tanzanite. That's why we needed extra tanzanite was for a lentil. You had to, you had to, you had to do a lentil. That's why you needed extra tanzanite was to show off a legume. Is that what lentil is? Isn't that a bean? Did I, did I just get fucking legumed? Am I crazy? What is a lentil? Lentil. Is an edible legume. Yeah, we just got beamed. Oh, okay. Not really. We're we've been under attack by I think the local goblin forest fortress, but we haven't ourselves really gone out yet. We barely even have a military. What we're trying to do is insanity. Hold on. Do I have that drawing lying around? I do. I need this as a paint drawing. I think I have it. I don't know where it is. <laughs> we're, we're doing a drunk E. If this shows. So we're trying to build four bases underground that only connect to the other floors through like one path. Not one centralized system all the way through. So floor one connects to floor two but does not connect to floor three. Two, three connects to floor two, uh, to, yeah, two to three, and three connects to floor four, but floor four connects to floor one. The idea being that there's like varying ways. So this floor can have a path to go straight to that floor that won't interrupt people trying to go to say that floor, for instance. The idea being that if anything happens in any of the floors, I should be able to reasonably cut off that floor without cutting off the rest of the base, no matter what floor that's on. So if we get attacked by a lichen and somehow the lichen goes unnoticed and he infects someone and the infection reactivates on say floor three, which will be Z level 70, because we have a floor on 130, 100, 70, and 40. That's what we're gonna put them down at we could just cut off that entire floor and try to send in the military and we have it messed up every other floor. So the idea is supposed to be like almost, I mean, we were joking about SCP earlier, but almost SCP government-ish, like up, oh, good thing we're not in the lockdown area and everyone else can just go about their business. So in the, in the short term, we haven't really done anything for going out and invading. Now I've done that before, just not in this base. Usually it seems to go buggy whenever I do it though. I swear, whenever I start doing things on the world map, my games get super buggy. Like they don't like world maps. I don't know why I don't just do that. There you go, that makes more sense. So yeah, we're doing a decentralized triaded for fortress. That's what this is actually right here. If you look on the surface, what I've done is I've dug down holes and covered over the hole so that nothing can get through. The middle one is going to, it stops right there for this level's farm. The left one, and I haven't, or the right one, I haven't dug these out, will be stopping here on the right. We don't have to worry about the middle because it already stopped up there. Meaning the left floor light will continue all the way down to floor 70 and then floor 40, they will be the ones that have underground food. My idea being to separate up the different types of food to make sure that no one's trying to transfer things from one floor to another. So depending upon what floor you're on will determine your food, your alcohol, what your likely employment is, so on and so forth. And the more I say this, the more it sounds evil. Isn't this like what they always do in post-apocalyptic worlds? Like, oh, sorry, you're on, you're on that floor. You don't get the lentils. Why? The forgotten beast Hofi has come. A great humanoid composed of coke. It's a cocaine giant called Toffee? 
It has a knobby trunk in it. Undul well, I mean, if you're on coke, you're gonna have something happening with the trunk. It has a knobby trunk and it undulates rhythmically. Beware its whip. Is this just a streaker? Is this just a coked out streaker? It's just a giant dude composed of cocaine. It has a knobby trunk that undulates rhythmically and shoots webs on people. I feel like this this is like a rated R boss. I feel like we like I need to like block him out anytime this happens. Where is he? Where is Tofi? Tofi is taking his laps. I mean, the problem is, is that he's a Weber. Webers are super dangerous. Also, we have the other, we have the other monster down here fighting things still. We've got two forgotten beasts down there. The other one was Enol, who if we remember is a huge toad with large mandibles and pink skin with deadly blood. Damashki, thank you for following while we watch like the most adult fight about to happen. Thank you so much. So, I'm not the one with the dirty mind, chat. You're the one with the dirty mind. But we have two forgotten beasts that are likely to fight each other soon. And one of them is a ravening open mouth that is sleek, smooth, and pink. And it has deadly blood coming out of it. And it's going, and it's going to be attacked by. <laughs> a big humanoid made of cocaine with a knobby trunk that's undulating rhythmically and shooting webs. I didn't do this. The game chose it. <laughs> the game woke up choosing innuendo. Are they fighting each other right now? Yeah, they're already fighting each other. I would love to, but yeah, like I said, they're both in the same forgotten layer. And, uh... <laughs> the, the, uh, the giant bleeding frog took out the coked out man. Um, what are your wounds? Lots of damage to your throat. Lots of damage to your throat. I'm, I'm, I'm ignoring that. Depot. Paradise. Nutwood. All right. Now, why do I have two of these again? I separated you out for some reason. You were to take, oh, I was trying to get rid of the damaged clothing. You technically shouldn't be here. Build construction wall. Because if I do this, orange logwoods. No, no, what the hell am I doing? What is it? What am I using for stone? Siltstone. If I do siltstone blocks, of which I have two, which means we'll need to make more siltstone blocks. But before we do that, we have to get our stone downstairs. We have some room down here. I would prefer there to be more room, but we do have some room. So some of the excess stone we still had out in the hallways, I can remove now. So I can make these look like, you know, regular hallways, not just weird, dirty stone leftovers. Now back down here, they're smoothing, so I'm gonna leave that alone for now, but I gotta build, I gotta start building the masons and shit down here. What is right now stone on the top? That'll actually get taken out and replaced with metals and ores, because that one's for now going to be the smithing area. I don't know how to even react it. Yeah, no, the game did that. Thank you so much. You can't blame this on me. Thank you for following Sakutsu. How goes it? Oh, that's bad. Ask Tony for gorgets. <laughs> hey, Spider Venom, thank you so much for following. And if any of you want to be dwarfed, by the way, it's. 
I can't get it onto the channel point system because I run my own script so for keeping track whether or not your dwarves are alive. So you have to type in exclamation mark dwarf, either one of the two ways, and it will it'll roll a number so I can just randomly assign you a dwarf if you want to be a dwarf. Then you can use your channel points to request things for your dwarf like, I want to be in the military. I want to see what the relations are. I want to see who they've killed, things like that. Yeah, the, um, if your dwarf is alive, it sends you a whisper. This is this is why I have it on the script so you can see in other games how your dwarf is. You know, I don't even think my regulars use it that often in other games. Number one for Yoshi. Yoshi, you are a hunter for right now. Yoshi, did I put you on a kill list before? Because I feel like your name is too long for me to remember later. Not a shout out. A kill list. Where's my kill list? Dead. Do I have Ys? Why? Okay, cool. I can just call you Yoshi. Yoshi the first. <laughs> Noodler, dwarf number two. Noodler, you are an engraver who is also our manager right now. Noodler the first. This way, if your dwarf dies, we can keep track of which dwarf it is when anything references historical dwarves. Noodler the first. First of his name. <laughs> All right. Come on, can you guys just smooth out one room? So as I said, it's gonna take a bit, but I'm gonna take this out of being stone later and use this for the metals and stuff for now so that gets stripped into floor four. Cause that's gonna take forever before we get to that layer or I should say the fourth layer cause it's gonna be floor 40, Z level 40. Now we made these rooms, they're not the greatest, but now everyone will have a room. Their rooms won't be filled in like everyone else's rooms are. There's gonna have to deal for now. But I think they'd rather have a room than to not. If we go back to the mason, I gotta build chests and cabinets again. Hold on, we have a manager. Cabinet rock, I'll order 20 rock cabinets made out of quartzite. You're gonna have shiny cabinets now. And we're going to do rock, then they're called coffers. 20 of those. They are also going to be made out of quartzite. This is, a, we're in the quartzite era today. Mr. Man redeemed twice to read his dwarf's descriptions. Spider, but you didn't type it in, did you? Did I miss Spider? Spider, did you get dwarfed? You said name you a spider. I, I didn't. I didn't see the command. Like it's not just for a number. If you type in the command again, it'll tell you if your dwarf is alive or dead now. Read theirs. Oh, okay, sure. Um, Yoshi. Yoshi is a skilled warrior. Yoshi recently thought a skilled warrior is a beautiful sight to behold because he's talking with an acquaintance. Yoshi likes mudstone, iron, pink garnet, giant bat leather, giant green tree frog bones. Hold on, that's too specific. Yoshi likes giant green only tree frog bones. How do you identify a giant green tree frog bone? The color russet, crossbows, the words of the adorable musics, the sound of the poetry of fanciness, and the sight of the embraced tulip. When possible, Yoshi prefers to consume bilberry wine and blood amaranth flower, though he absolutely detests brown recluse spiders. He has an iron will, a sharp intellect, a great deal of patience, a great memory, a good spatial sense, and a good feel for social relationships, but he has meager kinesthetic sense. He dreams of mastering a skill someday, as he is a short, sturdy creature fond of drink and industry. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What it does is the script is programmed off of you typing it in to know your name. That way, if you type in the script again, it knows definitely that it's you 
to, to associate it with. It's like a really, really cheap version of like a cookie. <laughs> Except for if any of you ever change your, your Twitch names and my cookies don't work. Don't worry though, there's nothing on your computer that doesn't track you. It's just a file on my computer. Um, so you got dwarf number four. One, two, three, four. You are a leather worker right now. Spider Venom. Spider Venom. I don't think I fit your full name in. Five, seven, six, five. Will that work? All right, hold on. I'm gonna need you on the kill list. Your number's way too long and there's no way I'm gonna remember it. I have a button to kill your dwarves whenever you die. Hence how the script knows later on whether or not you're alive or dead. Um, hold on, I'm clicking the wrong thing. I'm gonna copy this guy over, paste. I'm gonna say spider venom underscore five, seven, six, five. Those are numbers are what threw me off. And then the kill command will be spider venom underscore five, seven, six, five. All right, there we go. Which means over here, I can ignore your numbers and just do spider venom the first. There we go. No, no, but they are. But like I said, the script, it has to be put in for the kill command, your name. So if your Twitch name is Spider Venom, five, like Dwarf Fortress isn't tracking it. These are on two different computers. The script off the chat bot is tracking it. Um, Mountain Home. Do I not have enough? All right. I thought I... We'll build an extra chest up in the carpenter's area. I build wooden chest for the tavern. You're gonna give a ranking system for beard. Well, the problem is, is beard doesn't have a purpose. Remember, I Im I implemented beard and then Twitch did their own point system. So anything I was doing off of beard really doesn't have a purpose anymore. Well, the problem is I, still, I gotta like, I gotta work on it a bit. I like it, but really so far it only uh, like applies to, I would need to do more scripting to get it involved with Twitch. Right now it's just a program running on my computer. If that makes sense. Like I don't know really much of the Twitch APIs. That's why it doesn't use, for instance, channel points. That'd be so much easier on me if one of the channel points just said, get a dwarf. That way I wouldn't have to tell you to type it in and stuff. That'd be just so much easier. Um, did he do his already? No, he hasn't even given them yet. Okay. So we still aren't filled up on the stone down here. It looks like. I like how we're getting silk in this layer. That's, that's really neat. Uh, but not much, not much stone can be absorbed. So I will say from here to there, and then you, We'll have blocks on siltstone on repeat again. That way we can get more of the stone out of the way. Our endless struggle to get rid of this damn stone. Build workshop masons. This is supposed to start coming down here. Uh, What is something I can make this out of? You know what? Silver bar. This masons is gonna look fancy. Build workshop. Craftsdorf over here. You are going to be made out of. You're a Craftsdorf. So I don't think I have much to give you, but I gotta try to make it something that looks nice. I can make you out of quartzite. Can I make a quartzite block? I would like to try to make this out of a quartzite block. Wait, no, no, you can't. You can't do it out of blocks. Duh. Build workshop. That's why I'm not seeing other things. Craft dwarf. Wait, you can do it out of blocks. What the hell am I talking about? Uh, block. Details. Quartzite. That one will do quartzite. 
We'll let that go through real quick. Then we'll bring more things down. But in the meantime, build stone. This can hold stone. And I make sure that this one is a metal ores. Economic stone for now, or clay. Now wait, it just pulls from those. It is cool. I Jane Maul got it and learned they weren't. They want guild halls all separate. So yes and no. There's this weird exploit that I've been working on and off again because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And I don't know how entirely to trigger it, where you can mix a temple, a barracks and something else you can mix a temple a barracks and a guild hall and everyone gains all the skills i've gotten it to work a few times and i end up with like super militant dwarves it was amazing like even ones that had never been in the military and like they were all so disciplined that if something came out of the caves i didn't put a guard on the caves like if a cave croc came out of the caves that thing was done by like the local dwarf coming out of the tavern because he was just freaking elbow dropping that shit and the dude hadn't worked a day in his life in the military but I've only gotten it to do that like two or three times. And every time I try to be like, this is how you do it. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work. And everyone's like, wow, what a way for it to not work. And it just looks like I'm crazy. <laughs> so we, we have a slight problem that we're having to work on. I want this one to take from this pile. And only take from that pile. Ha ha. That way people who are hauling the stone don't have to go everywhere for it. Yeah, you. I think I've actually done that right now. Something similar. Uh, where's the damn, where's the barracks again? Right now, this barracks is also the Chapel of Death, which is our temple to the God of Death. So in the military, we have right now about seven people. I don't know if it's working yet. Again, sometimes this stuff does not work. If we go into military skills and sort up by squad, we can see the people in the squad and you can see all these people who are getting discipline and all these people who are getting dodger. Like I said, it's, it's irregular. And I know dwarves come in with skills, but if you let it go on long enough, they all end up like level 10 or 12. Like they do end up with skills. This grows, but I don't know what triggers it to really start growing. I'm not sure what does that. So there's some, there's some way to get them to overlap and other people to passively gain the skills. It might be like the guild halls part of the key. Like if you have the, oh, if you have the guild open to everyone, the guild will have a guy doing a guild thing. Maybe that's a rule that overwrites. I'm again, I'm not sure what causes it. So I'm not even like, just some weird way to get other people to watch the demonstration. But they are not all like one thing. Like the worth of each individual one goes down. So you're not overlapping temples. You're not overlapping a guild hall. And obviously you're not overlapping a barracks. Like they, it, like I'm not even like the guild hall and the temple probably interrupt with each other in terms of worth. But like the barracks doesn't appear to. So there, like I said, there's a weird way to get in the mesh, mesh where everyone's happy. I just don't know how to pull that off intentionally yet. Um, we we're waiting for the craft store to get the quartzite block, which has been built. So build workshop craft dwarf. I want quartzite, but block. Was it quartzite that I used? Yeah, right there, quartzite block build or no um stockpile stone this will be the same thing no metal ores no economic no clay and this will take from here and not anywhere so they transfer it in and then people bring it to that big one so i'm going to use a big one to keep track of what's actually going on uh lastly i need to bring down a mechanics workshop build workshop mechanics mechanic for a t of course we already had quartzite on the left. We have silver on the right. Mechanics should use an iron bar because they're just so down to earth. We'll do the same thing with their stockpile. Actually, I'm going to get rid of everyone's stockpile and make this be one stockpile. That crosses three walls because it works that way. Then I will tell this stockpile. 
That way we don't have different competing claims. This stockpile will take from here and will only take from links only. So they'll fill all three evenly, but it's one rule and it's one stockpile. So we have less checks. Will that negatively affect frames per second if it's three as opposed to one? I don't think so, but it's always nice to like simplify. Tell my militia commander train in the tavern. He will hear secrets and train civilians. Like I said, go ahead and try. There is a way. I just, I, I've gotten it to work rarer than I've gotten it to work. But when it does though, it's pretty awesome. All right, there are now visible gaps in the stockpile, meaning, and up here, I can get rid of this one probably, I hope. So now my halls are clear. We have finally, for the first time in this, cleared my halls. That I think is mud. Why is there mud there? Because of the earlier flooding. I, I don't want the mud there. <laughs> like I said, eventually I'll get those three out of that. Actually, why don't I just, just str smooth everything at this point? We still have the blocks in the hall. I've got to get them out of here still. But we're making progress. Okay, next up, down below. I don't have the metal down there yet, but we gotta get this stuff out of our way. Wood furnace smelter. Build workshop. No, no, not workshop. E for furnace. Wood furnace goes here. And you are going to be made out of a siltstone block. The smelter goes here. And you are gonna be made out of a siltstone block. And now we have the workshop for the metalsmith's forge. Needs a fire safe anvil. My only anvil is upstairs, isn't it? You my metalsmith, you're the smelter. You're the wood furnace. You're the metalsmith. Let's get you guys out of our light wells. So we can start digging those down. We'll probably end up in here is we'll have a carpenter, a craft store shop, and the one in the middle for here probably actually end up being the jewelers for right now. And then we get like all these blocks. I really want to be up there. So we really got to find something to do with this stone. Um, build construction floor. Since this is just going to be grass now, this should be siltstone blocks. Is there a way to just sell off the blocks? As soon as this sounds, I got to sell a bunch of my stone. I don't want all this stone here. I'm trying to just dig in. I don't want excess stone. We're out of siltstone. All right, well, I'm going to cancel that one and that one. Because the whole point of this is to have this wall here. All right, now the only easy way to pathfind to that trade depot is from the south. Meaning I should no longer have trade depots being like up here going, ah, well, I'm a drunk idiot. I'm going to just wander up and down through these trees so I figure out where I'm going to go. That's kind of what they're doing. I, I'm, I'm getting close to just having them do a ton of stone crafting, which is one of the things I got to transfer this over. This stockpile 19, which is just holding cut gems, that's where they were, and it's holding figurines down the totems. Yep, okay. Uh, finished goods. That floor is not covered yet. Siltstone block. Almost covered. We still have all of this, like this shell getting handled over here. Just trying to eat up all the shells I can. Then we have all the weird trumpets from people's corpses. Because everyone knows when you die, your teeth become trumpets. This is what happens. People don't think about that in the music industry. They're always like, wow, it's a good thing I got a trumpet. And they don't think that they got it from a dentist. There you go.
That's, I am doing that. We're saving now, I believe. I think I had at least one. So I'll do the one. One of these days I'll figure out what is wrong with that cable. I remember there being one. Uh-oh. All right, the button didn't work the first time. I remembered seeing one stack of five and I don't have the screen open, so we're just getting one this time. <laughs> now we have a reading. Work stronger or I'll kick your ass. There, there, there you go. I, I have worked as strong as is legally required me to work. Uh, excuse me. There was a second Dwarven description I was supposed to have read earlier. Music overlap. Who was the other dwarf? Not Spider, Nweedler. Nweedler, I did not get your Dwarven description. I'm so sorry. Nweedler recently thought, I want to spend some time with family. I'm lonely. He thought this because he was unable to do his job and being alone, you know, for being away from family. One of these two things, I can't figure out which. Nweedler likes calcite, rose gold, morion, the color ash gray, shields, peach trees for their fruit. Let me talk about peach in a second. The sound of the poetry of fanciness and the sight of the embraced tulip. When possible, Nweedler prefers to consume mango, wine, and reindeer's milk, and he absolutely detests brown recluse spiders. He has a meager ability with social relationships, poor analytical abilities, little linguistic ability, little patience, and quite poor focus. He dreamt of creating a great work of art someday, and this dream was realized, so time to pay him that milk. Has anyone had the peach smoothie or whatever it is from Chick-fil-A? Tear Mokes was over yesterday, along with uh, Crobin and Shadow Fox. They were over yesterday, and so they get some food from the Chick-fil-A, and apparently had a coupon for like their peach smoothie or whatever. And he's like, well, I got a coupon, so I might as well get one. So then he gets over there, and he's like, who wants the peach smoothie thing? I'm like, whatever, I'll try it. That thing is liquid diabetes. I was surprised at how sweet it was. It was unnecessarily sweet. Like you think something is salty and then like you get salt water in your mouth and you're like, wow, this is as salty as salty can be. And then you get water from the Dead Sea in your mouth and you're like, oh my God, my mouth is burning with how salty this is. How is this at all possible? And just replace that with sugar and that was the peach smoothie. I could not, I was like, why is this so sweet? I can't even taste the peach except there's an aftertaste. It was crazy. Who drinks that? Who drinks that? I want to know. Have any of y'all ever had that peach smoothie or am I just talking to myself? Everyone's like, what is he talking about? All right, hold on. Let me tweak some of these things. There you go. Now I got the rewards where I can see them. Come on. Keyboard didn't make the return trip. Hold on, we must push buttons. Keyboard. There we go. You're talking to yourself. Good. Sugar is my main diet. So I better like, yo, try it. I think it was peach. I, I can look it up. I think it was peach, a peach smoothie or something. And I was like, this is way too sweet. Hold on. Give me a sec. Peach milkshake. I had the fruit right the thing wrong. Not a smoothie, a milkshake, a peach milkshake. All right. These have all been built down here. What has happened? Why did I come up here? I didn't mean to be up there. Um, I need a metal smith's forge down here. Steel anvil. I'll use a steel bar. Why not? We're gonna we're gonna steampunk it. Don't have a Chipotle. Chipotle? You mean Chick-fil-A? Local streamer. I get Arby's orange cream shakes. Arby's is weird. <laughs> Arby's is weird. 
When I was down in Texas, we had a bunch of Arby's. Now, if you ask me if I like Arby's, the answer is no. Like, I don't like Arby's. Secondarily, if you ask me if I like roast beef, the answer is no. But if you tell me you got a, an Arby's roast beef sandwich with the Arby's sauce, that shit's delicious. <laughs> I don't know what it is about their roast beef sandwiches and that weird Arby's sauce, but that shit is good. <laughs> No, yeah, like everything else. I'm like, I would not, Arby's would not ever be in my main list of places to ever go. But if someone was like, hey, I went to Arby's and I got the roast beef sandwich thing. I don't like roast beef either. I don't like roast beef. There's just some weird, it's like pineapple and ham on pizza. You know, like pineapple on like a cheese pizza is weird. That's so weird. You get like a meat pizza and you put a pineapple on it. That shit's good doesn't make any sense to me. All right, we move down the Metalsmith's Forge. So I'm gonna create a bar block pile around it. And the bar block is only gonna allow metals and coal. I don't know how to, uh, I know how to, but I don't want to try to mix and match it right now. You are a smelter. So I'm gonna make you have a bar block pile you are just going to have bars of coal. I'm assuming this one's coal should take the coal away from the other one. You are a wood furnace. So you just get a wood pile. That makes sense to me. Let's let them bring all this down and see what we're, what we're dealing with upstairs. Pineapple on pizza is great, period. No though. Like, I think that's kind of the issue everyone has whenever that argument comes up. You know, like, do you put pineapple on your pizza or some nonsense? Everyone's like, that's disgusting. But that's because they're thinking of like a cheese pizza with pineapple. The humans have arrived from Largo Gil. Huzzah. Now, did they do the trade depot correctly? No. But where are you? Where are you idiots? I did this just for you. Are you literally going to... Oh, because I, I there's two depots. I didn't get rid of the old depot yet. Whoopsie. <sighs> Question. Can I bring you guys stones? Like, I don't want much for it. I just want to trade them away. I can. All right, well, what do I not like? I don't think I like schist. I'm fairly certain I'm okay with schist going away. I mean, we already have some schist mugs and stuff that need to go in anyways. All right, let's try to get rid of this schist. Just sell the rocks off. Now I can get a finished good pile in here to have the other items. This finished good will have nothing except amulets. No, figurines on down. Schist is the schist. <laughs> I don't think so. I do not recall schist being good. Not for anything I was doing. Like, I don't even think this... Like, you're not even... You're not a metal or anything, so... I don't even think you're economic. Yeah, you're other stone. Yeah. We can trade it away. Look, I'm going to say it. What are you going to say? If you don't like pineapple pizza at all, you're just wrong. But that's okay. Pineapple wouldn't make sense on a cheese. Pineapple's purpose is to elevate meat. It's like you see some of those videos. You see, they're like, oh, we wanted to see how bad Coca-Cola was. So we made it. We, we put a, a steak in a bag. We filled the bag with Coca-Cola and let it sit there overnight. And then the next day, like, oh my god, this is good. And the meat's just falling apart. Like, no shit. You marinated the meat with sugar acid water. What did you think was going to happen? Same thing with pineapple. It's, 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 a, it's an enzyme that breaks down meat proteins. That's its point. If you don't have the meat proteins, there's no point 
There's just no point to the uh, the pineapple. But we live in a world where bees are fish. And fish exist, supposedly. So it's not much we can do about it. The world is just too crazy for us now. Now I've been building cabinets and chests. So let's get some more chests in. Quartzite, yeah, that's what I was using. And this should make these rooms not look like garbage. But no, my luck, the dwarves will find some other way to make their rooms look like garbage. Anything that has clothing on the floor should be handled with a chest and some cabinets. All right, those rooms look clean means going downstairs. Guess they're doing these ones now. This looked weird to me. We're out of those. How many more chests we got? We got plenty of quartzite coffers. Four more. Three more, two more, this more. And then if we go back to the tavern, I want to put in one other chest. Because I'm assuming, actually not there. I'll put this chest on the other side. Because I'm assuming, uh, I don't think there's a cap on it or whatever, but it looks like they're being weird with mugs. And I also need to make, need to make more mugs. All right, a lot of what I was gonna be bringing down here isn't getting brought down here. We got the wood down, so that's something at least. This stone, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 8, 10, 9, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3, 8, 9, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 61, 2, 3. We have about 63 open spots that I could easily see. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63. Move the stones out. Actually... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 34, 50, 6, 7, 8, 10, 9, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 24. I can probably get rid of 24 more. And this is 8, 16, 24. That should all condense down one way or another. Not even counting the little ones around the workshops and stuff. Because like I said, this will work a lot better once I condense everything where it needs to be. Now you, we're still breeding, we're still breeding. We're still bringing stones up here. There's no dwarf going up to the trade depot and starting breeding, we're not trading. We're not trading people who are breeding. That doesn't make any sense. We'll request a trader now, because then the only thing remaining anyways is stone. Yeah, three schist. They'll be here eventually. No, this isn't Iron Head. This is, um, this is a dual tile set. This is, is it Meph? Hold on, I got, I got a thing for this. I always forget the name. It's not Iron Hand. Yes, it's Vetlinger. It's Vetlinger 32 by 32 and it's customed. That's not the only one. I could have also just clicked this the whole time. It's actually customized over with Shizzle Clean for the font. Type faster. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Holy crap. Why is that 145,000? Is there an artifact in here? That doesn't make sense. 145. There's 15. And I suspect that's because an artifact is involved. No, there's 10. 
this one finished good is a hundred thousand because there's the artifact no i'm not bringing that artifact Hey, sir, do you want my money? Here's another artifact that's also not getting traded. There you go. 57,000. That makes slightly more sense to me. There might still be an artifact involved, but at least I'm not sending out... <laughs> it's because a lot of these rings and stuff have been decorated and they're worth a couple hundred. This one is still a 10,000 box, but I'm not seeing anything individually that's that much. Can't believe they try to chain, trade away. Okay, who are these? These are humans, right? These are humans. Humans usually have good silver things. Flail is not what I was looking for, but I'll take it anyways. Do you have any whips? You have no whip, no cool whip. Um, I don't need your ropes or anything like that. I think I will take some of your empty cages. I'll take your rooster for breeding and your pea hen. I'm not sure I want any of the rest of your animals unless you have like pig or something. I don't want your weapons. You don't have steel and you don't have anything good in silver today for some reason. Uh, I will take some of your leather bins. And your cloth bins. You have any silk bins? Silk bins is what's gonna really sell this for me. No, you don't have any silk bins. Um, okay, well, going with the other things I'm aware of. Do you have anything that says copy? You're not gonna tell me. Do you have any? Any more cages? Really shouldn't have cages that are made out of metal. Is there way too damn heavy, but we'll make do with what we got. Sort of God, if I come down here and you got copies of things, I'm going to lose my mind. Bolts was the other word I was thinking of. For our hunters. You don't have many bolts. I'll take what I got or what you got. I'll take things. Don't worry about it. Past all that, I don't need more food right now. I will take some backpacks. Nope, you're, you're large because you're a human. Way to be human, you idiot humans. Uh, crutches. I guess I'll get some crutches and splints. Nothing wrong with some medical gear that I could have gotten otherwise. So I'm giving them a massive unnecessary profit. All right, here's what we do. I need to get rid of our stuff. I'm going to take off our trade clothes and our non-damaged things. Keep those. That's mostly damaged, so we'll do that. I'm gonna take off this finished good bin that I've just seen is 145,000. There you go. That's off. Don't have to worry about that. And it is, if I can lower them down to the garbage and keep the money, I don't see why I wouldn't just do that. Trade goods are stackable. Stones are not. Not without cheesing, anyways. They're still getting a massive profit even with that. Trade all those. Where else are you getting stuff? Right here? Twenty thousand profit. I'll go with that. There you go. They seem ecstatic. I wonder why. Take my stone. Master mode calamity stream win. Okay. So I have no qualms with doing a Terraria stream. I'm telling you basically the mods I will be using when I do it. One, Calamity. Two, Thorium. Three, Uncle Danny's tools for building mod. I keep gadgets galore. 
for the Souls mod. Does that kind of throw off some of the balance possibly? Yes, I'm gonna admit that shit straight up. We will be in eternity mode. Um, but the Souls mod has the stuff that, and the, the four related things to the Souls mod that compresses all the items to one. Because if I'm doing it, I'm going to be doing it to make like the ultimate item. Otherwise, I kind of don't see what the point is. It would be in expert mode with eternity mode on, but not master or higher. I'm not doing the revengeance. Quite frankly, I don't understand the point of any of those modes. I've looked at the numbers. You don't get good gear. The, the, those modes make no sense to me. I do not understand the purpose of Malice, Revengeance, Death, and I forget the last mode. I have nothing against doing it, against doing Calamity, and if you guys so want it, I can later. But the big hurdle to doing that right now is Thorium. Thorium, because as far as I'm aware, the, the two really big mods, like in terms of content, well, three technically, is Thorium, Calamity, and Souls. And Souls has a way to mix the other two together. So I don't see the point in doing it without Thorium. Okay, well, why do people turn on higher difficulties? Because game's easy. Well, no, but there needs to be a point to it. Like when, when I did uh, Wrath of the Righteous, I wasn't on normal, I was in core. I was doing that in hard difficulty. I was in hard, but I didn't see the purpose of doing harder than hard. Like I did the first hard because they have essentially three easy, three normal and three hard difficulties. So don't get me wrong. I can see the purpose of doing difficulty, but there also kind of needs to almost be a point to it. I did core because otherwise I would have been steamrolling everything. Um, expert, especially with the attorney mode, things are already plenty difficult. Calamity makes things plenty difficult, but also the th like, if you click it to hard, you have to deal with two new mechanics that don't make sense. Revengeance mode and the other mode, the, the two like weird bars, which here's what it comes down to. Don't get hit for 30 seconds and you do double damage. There you go. There's the mechanic. That is a weird nonsense mechanic to me. Don't get hit for 30 seconds and you do double damage. And you have another one that just says 30 seconds into a boss fight and you do some more damage. And these two things stack. But at that level of difficulty, you get two shot by most bosses anyways. So it, it comes down to the same thing of calamity, hard mode or higher. It, not even counting revengeance, death, the other mode, malice mode, all just comes down to, hey, can you do the game without getting hit? I don't see the fun in that. Now, if they gave me good items, like that's what I'm doing expert. Expert, there's like all the modes have unique items that only drop in expert mode. And like, they don't have anything that drops in master. In master mode, the only thing that drops is maybe a cute pet, some gold statues from bosses, one, and then uh, you get unique master mode only items in the calamity revengeance mode that all it does is make the mechanics of revengeance mode like higher or better. But the point, getting an item that only works with the mechanics introduced by that difficulty isn't getting a good item. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could just not do that difficulty and then I don't need those items. One. Two, if you're in Souls mode, it's like I won't be doing the bosses in Master mode or anything. If you're doing the Souls mod, at some point you get an item that just lets you change your difficulty levels. So I'm gonna be starting it. The world and everything is going to be an expert and I'm gonna be playing with it at that. But at some point, if we want to go gold statue hunting, I can just do the Master mode difficulty clicker and switch to Master mode. I still won't be doing the other modes on because I don't see the, I, I don't want to deal with that weird extra UI nonsense. I don't need extra thing. It's like freaking um, Xenoblaze. I don't need the extra UI elements of these bars and shit interrupting me. I don't want them. I don't want that mechanic, it's dumb. But yeah, no, so we'll be doing expert so we can get the gear and the unique items and that's cool and stuff. Maybe at some point I go back and do some of the earlier bosses on master to get their gold statues. But other than that, there's no real reason to play it through on Master. Like, there's no reason to do Master mode for all the regular enemies. There's no point. That's just dumb. Well, I mean, like I said, it already exists. Like, I didn't, like, I didn't make any of this for the texture pack. Literally, it's just under lazy new pack. If you click graphics, you can customize what you want for the two things. So this only works under text will be text. I chose Shizzle Clean, which is part of Lazy New Pack, and I chose Vetlinger 32 by 32. So I can't submit it to them. I don't think copyright's a thing, but it's basically a thing. Like, 
they're both someone else's products. I can't submit a thing of, hey, I think it'd be a neato idea to mix these two products together. Yeah. So yeah, no, if you want to, you can do that. That's literally all it is. I think one of them's slightly hard to track down though. Like it's in there, but you have to like open folder and get it to open. Like there was something weird, I think with Vetlinger or Shizzle Clean. One of these didn't like, wasn't loading when I downloaded the program, but they are there. I just forget what I had to do to make it work. All right, get rid of that trade depot. We don't need it. Get rid of this stockpile. We don't need it. Go away. Yeah, you can do the same thing. It like it is there. I just don't remember. There's like a weird step I had to do. It wasn't showing up in the list. So I think what it was like, I think I had to force it to install Vetlinger, even though it already had Vetlinger. And then I was able to switch over to uh, Shizzle Clean and then install both. Like it's, it's not hard, but it's just like, it won't show up. It's not as easy as it should be. Why do I have a petition? The barricaded hall has many members in man gear and now requires a guild hall. You must do something for a craft dwarf. The barricade, didn't I already do this? A crafting engraver. Oh, they're talking about just a general crafting thing. Uh, all right, hold on. This has to be invaded to make the room, but I still have a forgotten beast that hasn't died. So I don't want to do it because he can come up and kill me. That's why I haven't done this one down here yet. What I could do, see the thing is I wanted it to have the opposite curve down here. I could just do it the same shape. If it curves down, we can avoid the cavern, but I didn't want it to curve down. I wanted it to curve up down here. So the cavern's in the way and the cavern is dangerous. We're gonna have to fight that dude at some point. He is injured, I think. Like, I don't think he's been cured from this. Yeah, he's slowly getting more and more injured. But my big worry is he's killed everyone. He's killed like three other forgotten beasts. If this dude is like the top of the tournament bracket in forgotten beasts, who the hell am I gonna swagger up to him with seven dudes barely trained? Yeah, because the problem is when you hit him, his blood hits you and it, his blood like wrecks you, doesn't it? I forgot to check. I forgot to sh check the dude um, fighting him. I forgot to check the, the other one fighting him to see what his blood even does. So we don't know. Art of Stuttering! How's it going, buddy? What did you roll? You got a three. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Ogazimus. Art, is this your first or second? Have you died before? Art, you are an artist. Congratulations. Dwarf four for Archie 8300. One, two, three, four. Archie, you are a leather worker right now. I think you're just the first art. I don't think you've had a um, Archie. I don't think you've had a base here. Doing good vacation. No more bar work, stuff like that. Enjoying the summer. Yeah, dude. And you gotta, you gotta enjoy the times when you have it. I per like, I like the summer, but not. <laughs> I'm weird. So I, I'm in New England. I live in New England. Everyone here loves fall. And I do like fall. But the thing is, I think when it comes to seasons, I think I prefer, te like as stupid as this sounds, because I hate everything involved with it. I think I prefer Texas summer to New England fall. New England fall so, so comfy outside. The trees look amazing, but you don't get thunderstorms. There's just something crazy about being in a hundred degree temperature and wanting to die. And that thunderstorm comes sweeping across the plains and the and like it, the temperatures plummet like 30 degrees. It goes from like 105 degrees down to like 75. Everything is just super dark. You can't see anything. There's just torrential rain everywhere. Lightning sounds like Zeus himself is gonna kill you. That shit's amazing. And you just don't get it here. So while I'm here, I prefer fall. I prefer fall kind of like winter. I don't get, who cares about spring? 
but nothing compares to summer. Nothing compares to summer in an area where you get rain. We had kind of a similar thing too when I was stationed in Japan, where what they did is they went for a Gump on us. If you're in Japan, yo, that part of the movie is not joking. One day it just started raining and it just, there was all kinds of rain. At some point in summer, I think near the end of July, beginning of August, maybe mid July, it just starts raining 24 seven. Like if you if like you wake up, you don't hear any rain. It's because it's like, it's a dense fog. So you could be like, oh, a dense fog is not rain. It is when that's the only, like the humidity never drops. That's just rain that has forgotten what gravity is. If you're in that much rain, fog becomes a rain. It is just a rain where you're like, fuck it, it's lagged, I guess, whatever. I love me rain. We don't really get that here. Like I have repeatedly streamed through a hurricane here. It's like, oh, we're gonna get hit by freaking Hurricane Sandy or some nonsense or whatever. And I, like, I, I didn't even know we were in a hurricane until afterwards. I was just like, oh, look, it might be starting to rain. And it's like, nah, that was a hurricane. That was super bad. Was it? I want like straight line winds that smash your windows and shit. You're like, holy shit, am I dying to a tornado? Is this the day? I know that sounds weird. That sounds crazy. But there's like, those storms are awesome. Um, Vetlinger. Vetlinger 32 by 32. Like I said, I think it's Vetlinger that doesn't show up. You have to choose customize, first of all, I think. You have to choose customize so you can split the two up. You have to be in text will be text. It can't split them up if you're not in text will be text. Which is somewhere. Where do you choose the rendering mode? TWBT, where are you? Twibbit, Twibbit. Somewhere in here is the option for Twibbit. Am I stupid? It's in text will be text by default. Somewhere around here is the option for it. Oh wait, it might be up here. Am I thinking? Am I thinking uh, init editor? Yeah, somewhere in here is Twibbit. Summer in one of these has like render mode. Yeah, that print mode. Text will be text. You have to be in text will be text for this to work correctly, from what I understand. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying if because the if you do Vetlinger 3232, it has its own text. That's what I'm saying. I'm doing custom so I can throw in chisel clean. The bottom had it. Okay. All right. We're still using up the stones we have. We traded away a bunch, which was super useful because we have gaps down here now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 37. We have 37 there. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 48, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. I can get rid of all those. Like I said, if I can just clear this out, then we're good. I, I can start moving other things here. Yeah, like I said, this is to have it one. This is to change the individually. That's why I had it under custom. As it looks like yours. Yeah, okay. You might still need to click install. Like, I think this is you choosing it, then you gotta click install, I think. Don't forget the installer. I don't, oh, I, I don't think it's going through. All right, we have two. We definitely have two this time. All right, hold on. There are people in chat who think that this is a far better thing if they see me push. Because if I do not push, I'm too lazy. One, I think I lost form a bit on number nine there, I'm not gonna lie.
right. We are back. We have we have done our things. Complete, complete. Spider Venom's description. <laughs> Spider Venom the first. Recently thought, I want to spend some time with family. I'm lonely. He said this because he's lonely from being away from his family. <laughs> Spider Venom the First is tough and rarely sick, but he is very slow to heal. Spider Venom the First likes porcelain, gold, severite, donkey teeth, amber, giant pond turtle shells, chickens from their scratch, chickens for their scratching, narwhals for their horns, and the words of the gloved gate. When possible, Spider Venom prefers to consume bat ray, sunshine, and barley flour, though he absolutely detests oysters. He has a good intellect and good creativity, but he has an iffy memory, little willpower, and quite poor focus. He dreams of creating a great work of art someday. <coughs> Had like a half a coughing feeling during that. Looks like the goblins are back. Good thing we gotta push this in. A vile force of darkness has arrived. Hide your children. Lest the goblins take them as a snack. All right, we got to do stupid nonsense. Civilian alert for Burrow 1. I don't remember what Burrow 3 is. That was a weird one. We could remove Burrow 3. Yes, delete it. Burrow 1, I think, has changed now. No, it's not because I never put the security door on. Oh my God, I forgot to actually do this again. I'm not a good person. All right, military alert was security doored. Give everyone a chance to go in there. They'll be fine for a bit. Someone's somehow ignoring the request. Good on him. It's a bunch of goblos. They're getting relatively close, but they're not here yet. Squad A is being told to station down here. Come on, you guys got to get around that door. Why are a bunch of you just sitting here in the farm? You're literally... Why does every AI in every game I play do this? Right when it's time to not be standing in the... The acid, basically. Are you going to stop? Go! Go! Proceed past the door of doom and damnation. Please, go! I know you're holding stone, but I didn't tell you to carry it. Go! <laughs> Jesus. All right. Where are we in terms of goblins? All right. They're getting close. Come on, get into that door. So many cancellation alerts. Go past the stairs, you idiots. Go. <laughs> I think we've gotten everyone past. If there's someone that's not out then at this point, then they deserve to die. All right, the goblins are coming down right now. Go! Go through the door! Drop the stone and run for your life, you fucking moron! Jesus! Locking all the doors. There's a civilian still stuck outside. That's not on me. All right, locking the door from the other side so that we're safe. All right. We had a lot of cancellations in there. I don't think we had anyone with a... Uh, we don't think we had a death yet, but we have been slaughtering the goblins in that short amount of time while screaming at our civilians. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 are dead. I don't think that those are the old ones, but I'm also not seeing other goblins, so I don't know. That had to have been them. We're already down to eight goblins. We, we, we've already wiped out this invasion. Did sound sense crash? Why are we not getting fighting? Did I mute it?
It says it's playing, but I'm not hearing it. Sound sense is weird. All right, well, they're not by water if they go this way. So I'm gonna have our, the rest of our military go up there and kill them. Get them, boys. Now we hear combat. All right, I think we're all good. Our All of our dwarves just got out of the way in time. Took them forever. This is why I got to secure these different floors so we don't have to wait for everyone down below to come up here. The doors are open, I think. You're free to go move about the country. Um, okay. After that last fight, before I do the read, after that last fight, if I sort by squad and look at military, we had a grand total of... So I can do the updates after this. I'm not looking at the names. Hellfire had four notables and four others. Admiral Wiley had one other, essentially. Azrakhan had one other, and it was a duck. I love that he's taking claim for killing a duck. So now we can see who got the kills. Hell, Admiral Azrakhan is what we had first. Hell, Admiral Azrakhan. After that fight, our kill list is... Azrakhan jumping to position one for... Hold on. Pause. Pause. You're paused. Why am I now here in combat? They're just now playing all the sounds. It lagged out. We're now hearing the combat. <laughs> Whatever, I guess. After that combat, Azrakhan jumped to first. His one duck is nothing compared to nine new goblins. Hellfire the second dropped from position one to position two because all he did was get one little goblin. Sorry. Admiral Wiley held on, went from position two to position three, even though he killed five goblins. It just wasn't good enough to stand up to Azrakhan's nine or... Uh, Admiral or Hellfire's position that he held. I wrote the numbers down wrong. I just wrote one, two, three when it should be five, one, nine or something. I got it backwards. Whatever. Zastiver, who didn't have any kills before, is now up to two goblins and Dominate got in at the end with one goblin. So our MVP of that fight was Azrakhan with nine whole fights. With nine goblins dead. MVP Gobba War. Because I'm supposed to have a thing where I keep track of the MVPs from these things, and I always forget to do it. Gobba War 1. How's that for some military training? Round of applause for Azrakhan doing his damnedest to save our base. That duck looked... You don't know what that duck did, man! That duck was crazy! <laughs> Send out a diplomat to discuss the surrender. He can't stop. This man married the stone the whole way there. Carried. Wait, the siege just completely crumbled. That man was hauling stone. <laughs> yeah, didn't die. <laughs> yeah, I don't, like, hold on. If we go to the hospital, I don't even think anyone's injured. No, we got some injuries. Okay, hold on. If it, We're paused right now, right? Yeah. Okay. And the injury list is Mr. Man TM the second. Mr. Man. Actually, I should do it this way, shouldn't I? Health, there we go. In our military, first up was Mr. Man. Where are you? I wish I could sort this by names. Zastafer, you need some help. Mr. Man. Mr. Man, TM, you are needing a suture. You are also needing, what is a circle with a line below it? Uh, oh, a dressing and an immobilization. You got messed up somewhere, Mr. Man. You have, in fact, you can't hold things. Because you've got a torn linden, a torn ligament and a torn tendon, I'm assuming in your hand. Um, you have broken tissue and a lot of tissue pain. I'm going to assume that you've got an arm that's been brooked up. All right. Now, that was me, you know, being humble. Humble's the wrong word. Me using that other program. I'm just going to use health for this, or I'm going to not keep track of who's who. 
There, okay, here we go. Everyone's injuries. Azra Khan the second came out of it with no injuries? Dude, is Azra Khan just a blade dancer? Everyone else is fighting, getting hit, and Azra Khan's just slipping around, just shanking people in the neck and shit. Shh, quiet. Shh, don't fight it. Don't fight it. Shh, I don't understand your stupid gobble language anyway. Shh, quiet. And he's jumping from dude to dude. He doesn't have a single injury. Not even fucking tired. I have, hold on, hold on. What the hell was Azra Khan doing? Goblin Lasher missed, missed, missed. Struck at him, but it was blocked. Hacked the Goblin Lasher in the hand with the steel axe. Cut the, cut the hand off. So he's got a steel axe. I think this might be determining the factor here. Hit a goblin dude in the left tooth with an axe and severed the tooth off, I guess. Battle axe. Okay, so, so, so what? You, Azrakhan flanked him and just turned into a fucking blender with the steel battle axe? Literally, all these is just hacked him in the head, hacked him in the neck, hacked him in the tooth, hacked him, hacked him, hacked him. Yeah, so at some point, Azrakhan said, I'm done with this. It went with an axe until the goblins were gone because none of them hit him, like, at all. Hellfire the second, you've got, hold on, the music got stopped again. Just when we got music back. Hellfire the second, you have got... Uh, do 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 do. There we go. Grasp impaired, motor nerve severed, sensory nerve severed, and trouble breathing because your neck got smashed. You had an artery torn and a sensory nerve in your right foot cut out. Your right hand has a ligament torn, a motor nerve severed, a sensory nerve severed, a tendon torn, and tissue torn open, and your right lower arm has tissue torn open. Hopefully that can be cured, but you might uh, you might have to be retired after this hellfire. You took a lot of damage to that right hand. Um, next up is Zastifer, who still needs to be diagnosed. We don't actually know entirely what's wrong with him, but we do know that his foot has an artery open. His left lower arm is kind of torn. He got some, some bruising on his neck and his right hand also kind of got torn. Again, he hasn't been diagnosed yet. We don't know what the hell's going on with him. Dominate just needs to be immobilized because his right knee is gone and has its ligament, tendon, and it was smashed, which for knee is not good, I've heard people say. Luckily, Domine, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound, got that goblin to give him a wisdom tooth removal for free. So that's pretty good. So, you know, just like a couple days of Percocet, he'll be fine. And Mr. Mantium also got messed up. He's getting surgery, it looks like right now. And his left elbow is gone and his left wrist is gone and his right elbow is gone and his right lower arm is gone. You got horribly messed up. I don't know what happened to Mr. Man TM there. Maybe maybe he took some of the blender attacks from Azrakhan when he wasn't looking. I don't know. Seven nerves aren't good. An arrow to the knee can kill you. He survived losing his. Matefani. So hopefully, like we got good doctors. I'm definitely not checking now to see if we have good doctors. <laughs> Hold on, profession, labors, collapse all. We have a doctor, right? A medic, what do I call him? All right, we have one medic. Cool. Uh, we have 20 engravers? Oh my God. You're not an engraver. I'm switching you to be a medic. We need more medical people. Uh, we have a stone worker in here. He's got some skills. Humanity sings. You're going to be a medic now. And we have two woodcrafters. You do suturing. This man can also be a medic. That way we, we have extra people in the hospital. We should have had some already, quite frankly. There we go. Like I said, some of you should be able to get back to regular. Problem is, I don't think I've started doing soap yet. <laughs> so I feel like someone's going to get some infections. That's one of the reasons why I'm trying to clear this stuff out so I can get stuff like that going. Um, if I go down here, I think what you need ash, right? To try to start the soap industry. I'll have him cook up some ash. Yes, I have gypsum plaster somewhere, but I, but I purposely bought gypsum plaster earlier. Yeah, we got gypsum plaster. 
We have great medics. One medic assigns new medics. Yo, we're straight doing this army style. We got a good medical facility. We got one medic and we got like four, oh, what the hell's CLS, combat lifesavers. That's what it is. They moved it to the hospital then. They should have, that stuff was done before. Like that wasn't a new order I had done. Where's the hospital? Do I have a, oh, it's up here. Yeah, we got powder. Also, I just bought splints and crutches, so we're good on that too. We got buckets. The only thing I'm actually missing is the soap. Like I said, other than infection, I think they'll be good. Like, do we even have, we even have traction benches. Like, I've got to set up hospital. We are good for this. <laughs> I just don't have hope, um, hope. <laughs> Freudian slip, we don't have any hope here. Um, we just don't have <laughs> soap in our hospital. That's the word, soap in our hospital, not hope. Uh, now they have showed up. And they showed up in the dumbest location. What are you doing? Where are you going? You see what I mean? Like you had an opening over here. Why are you idiots doing that? Well, I mean, at least they had some way out. I don't know why they're blinking in and out, but okay, whatever. I'll take that as a success, I guess. Also, this finished goods should not have artifacts in it. Hold on, pause. I gotta go down here somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to store it right now, but I need to store the artifacts somewhere so these idiots stop carrying them upstairs. Uh, I'm gonna, st hold on. Finish goods, except my big issue is you only store artifacts here. You can store anything you want, but it has to be an artifact to get the artifacts back down. All right, who got dwarfed? Back to has nickname, do a read. Dwarf number two for Venom Delta. Hello, Venom Delta. <laughs> Is this Twitch's way of telling me I'm toxic? We've gotten like two or three people today that are all Venom related. Hello, Vel Venom Delta. I got you in, this is Venom Delta the first, obviously. I got you in as a, what are you? You're a weaver, you're part of our weavers guild. We do kind of have a clothing industry going, so you've actually had a pretty decent job. Yeah, lots of Venoms today, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I gotta make, I gotta do a lot of rooms, don't I? This is what I get for having a goofy idea without the infrastructure to back it up. Um, hold on. A lot more spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 18, 19, 20, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3, 8, 9, 30, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 38. I think we've got about 38 slots. 8, 16, 24, 32, plus 1, plus 2, 40. We're doing pretty good at getting the stone out of here so I can start putting other good things here and get them out from being upstairs. That's actually the dangerous part. Like the stone people take forever to get out of the way right now. I need like emerge, I need to lock off the floors. We'll get to that. But right now the big issue is I gotta get the people upstairs inside in case there's like a sneaky goblin attack or something. Am I toxic? Also <laughs> RNG, get out of the fucking place. Look, Xenoblades has done stuff to me, okay? That's not my fault. I was a good pure streamer. Then we had Persona 4, and, the, and Persona 4 corrupted me, and then we had Xenoblade, and I think after Xenoblade, I think I've just lost patience for AI. <laughs> I blame gaming. <laughs> we will not even call himself VD. <laughs> oh, that took a second to sink in. I'm like, oh, okay, VD. No, um, my broker cannot access Depot. Civilian alert is still on. Wait, then how did you go? Oh my God, they've all been stuck up there the whole time. No wonder nothing's getting done. We just, what? I thought I saw someone outside earlier. 
Welcome to the base, everyone. <laughs> Whoopsie. There is much to share. I believe this. What do you have of our merchants? Same thing I want every time of your merchants. I want, I want soap. <laughs> do you have soap? <laughs> Please. No, I want steel. I want some meats just because they're nice. I want gypsum plaster because I like gypsum plaster. Uh, I'm not doing the egg thing right now, but at some point I will need to do the eggs because we're going to, we're probably gonna need turkeys in all three of them or maybe like different types of birds in all three. So yeah, I'll say I want some turkeys. Uh, I want some instruments. I don't have a particular preference for any of them, but I need some. Uh, do 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 do. What was it? Bolts is good to have. I can make most of these things on my own. I'm just not doing it yet. If I'm going to do a trade, I'm going to want to do a trade for steel. Because I don't have uh, flux stone yet. I don't want your crafts. I don't want your cloths. I don't want your leathers. I think that's what I'm wanting from, from you for right now. Let's go with that. What do they want from me? Maces not happening, backpacks not happening, meat not happening, toys not happening. Well, no, crafts doesn't make toys, I don't think. Large gems, that I can do. Splints, crutches, figurines I can trade, cloth, anvils. So the only thing that you have that I'm gonna give you is figurines. Okay. This one needs to be set up for auto trade. That way we move the crafts goods in. Uh, I think I did. Yeah, they're, they're released from their standing orders. I have found that dwarves will just disobey burrows whenever the hell they want. <laughs> I think, I'm hoping, I'm, I, fuck. There's been so much update about the Steam version of Dwarf Fortress. I'm hoping somewhere in there, they have a major overhaul of the burrow system. I remember him mentioning it, but I don't know if it was good enough. Because, like, a lot of their updates, they keep trying to be, like, coy about it. Sometimes they're, like, up front, but a lot of them, they're like, we decided to make underground farming as cool as it used to be. Details, please? <laughs> no. Uh, okay, then. <laughs> Guess I didn't need to know what that information was. We have a bot? Oh, we do have a bot. Thurret. Thirt. I know they're not human, but I tell them every time that like this doesn't even make sense. The the things they're trying to sell are not good. Where is Ban? Go away, Thirt. Come here and buy views. Okay, what a, a view doesn't do anything. Like even a collection of views. That's not how that works, anyways. Buy followers. Followers is not the greatest metric to begin with. Buy subs. That's the one that confuses me. <laughs> Either you, char you charge more the same or less for subs than I would get out of subs. So why would I buy subs? <laughs> buy your money back at less. What? How does that make sense? They want to sell you more bots. Well, to get started. Yes, this is true. The, the the 50 followers thing, but like they always had the same thing in their bots. Wouldn't it make more sense to have a different bot to sell just followers to people with like less than 50? That would make sense. But they're always like, oh, look at this as established, you know, look at this affiliate. Buy followers. Like, no, they're never good metrics. It doesn't make any sense. You'd buy subs at less and they'd use a stolen credit card to sub to you. Yeah, but like at how much less? Like, like the mechanics involved doesn't make sense. So for every sub, unless you have differing numbers, I'm just gonna do the flat average thing of 250. Let's say ignoring primes and things like that, you pay $5 a sub to someone and the streamer makes half of it, 250. So if their subs cost, 
$2 each, then I'm having to buy in bulk a massive amount because I'm having to do, actually, no, no. I'm still paying five. So you would have to be doing two to one. You, you get what I'm saying? Like if I bought 10, I'm paying 50 and I'm hoping back 20 subs worth minimum to break even. Like the numbers involved has too much stuff going on for that to make any sense. And also it definitely look obvious. Like if all of a sudden just a hundred subs dropped, unless it was like in chat or something, it would be really weird. And also you're putting in too much money to try to get anything out of it. The problem is, is subbing to yourself is kind of a system that requires being in bulk to be cost efficient. And the more you do it in bulk, the more you're on the hook if it goes wrong. Do I have artifacts involved again? 19,000. No, 14,000. Things are just worth more. 18,000. I'll do this if it's like legit trades. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do this. 60,000. First of all, steal. I keep asking you for it. Did you get me some? I'll take a spear. I'll take some picks. I want some more spears. How many picks I scrap? One, two, three pick. Two, three spears. Take a breastplate. I don't want low boots. I don't want bucklers. I think I'll take two helms. I'll take your gauntlets. Uh, I'll take two anvils. Greaves I love, leggings I love, greaves I love. I'm not worried right now about the trap components. It's gonna take me too much to get the traps working. Um, do you have more gypsum powder? I love me the gypsum plaster. Thank you, that stuff is fantastic. Okay, we got gypsum, we got steel. I'm not needing food, I'm not needing booze. Do you have uh, turkeys? Do you have hens? Do you have cages? All right, we'll go with that. Do you have pigs? I'll go for a pig, male peacock, a male guinea cock. All you're doing is selling me male cock. Stop it, I don't need it. I need egg layers, damn it. All right. Um, I don't need buckets. I don't need training spears. I gotta get some of my dudes up to steel though. I gotta try to see if I'm gonna do steel weapons. Might as well get steel cap. I thought there'd be more to trade for. I, I don't like, if I got helms, I think I'd rather helms over caps, but I'd rather have anything over nothing. So no problem there. I don't want your blocks. I don't want your raws. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. We'll get, we'll get some of your raw. There you go. Actually, if I'm going to be doing this, I want the, let me go into glass, turn all these back off and then switch it out for clear. Cause clear green's easy to make. If you're going to be trading for it, you might as well get clear. You might, cause that, that took some effort to make. I will respect the effort of some dwarf in a simulation somewhere. Now, do you have anything that says copy? I need books for my eventual library. No one has books in this game. Why does no one have books right now? I'm getting a lot of, uh, fuck, I'll take the display case too. That'll help me out with the, um, with the artifacts. I've already got a display case. And these are bodies, but not full. I'll take the altar. I don't want the bag. Do you have any full instruments? Hey, they'll even give me a nest box. I'll take an orthoclase nest box. Why not? I don't want body parts. I guess we'll trade that, but that's a lot of profit. I already gave I already gave away a bunch of my garbage stone earlier. So what if I take off the non-damaged clothing? Let them take the damage. And it's not my problem. Fourteen thousand. Would we'll drop into a six profit if I do this. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Get my clothing back. <laughs> no, I want the female egg layers. <laughs> You gotta add the potash to make it clear. Yeah. Crossbows, hammers, and over-engineered traps. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
yeah, are they buying? I, I'm selling the shell stuff, aren't I? The problem is I keep turning off the fishers and I keep ending up with more fish. I'm trying, but every new dwarf is like, I've got a job in life and that's to become legendary at fishing. I keep turning them off and they're like, but wait, there's more. All right, we got that trade off at the very least. I don't think we got a migration wave in there, did we? No new animals. All right, now we're good on all these. They are leaving. Please leave in a normal manner. You can just like vacate straight the map. I don't know why you would do this any other way. This animation right here is where I get like the most nervous where I think they're getting trapped and stuff. It looks like it's clearing out. I don't know why it's such an effort. I don't like th th that part is where it's always freaking out. Just start leaving. Go. Depot is still accessible. Look at that. It's accessible all the way to. Why does that say no? What is this? Why did a boulder end up there? It's in the middle of a road. How is there a boulder in the middle of the road? Someone go smooth that boulder out, please. Pretend like that didn't happen. There we go. Straight path out. Please leave. I beg of you. They always find a way to get trapped or some nonsense. I don't understand them. <laughs> Ah, you, I built it over the boulder, I guess. Like, how is this road, but that part's not? Whatever. I'm going to ignore them for a minute, as paranoid as they're making me. All right, we nearly got rid of the stone down there. Stone down here is doing good. Craft storf. Make rock. Mugs. I'm going to need, I'm going to need, like, more mugs anyways. So let's take the opportunity to make Gabbro mugs. I'll take off 10 stones right there. Someone upstairs was making blocks. So I'm fairly certain we're good on now. That has been eating up a bunch of these. We'll see what ends up happening after this. I actually need to eat more than what I've got consumed in terms of stone, because I have to clear these out. So I have to clear out about what? Five, 10, 13, 16, 32, 48. I got to clear about 48 more, not in addition to that eight. So 56 plus the excess stone. Fuck, I got a lot of stones I got to get rid of. And they just brought a stone from somewhere. Where did you just bring that stone from? And I got to clear up that. Uh, did you, did you make the ash? We made ash. All right. I always get this backwards. So workshop, soap maker's workshop. I'm just gonna build you right here just cause I gotta build you somewhere. I don't think I have another soap makers. We'll see how well this works. Oh, they did leave. They didn't get stuck. I was honestly paranoid they were gonna get stuck. I've seen them got, get stuck on worse. We've got to start bringing that paper and stuff in, though. I got to get the gyms out of here. No, I don't need migrants. It's a migrant. I'll take one. Fine. We have seven units without bedrooms and eight unowned beds. Why? Why are my dwarves stupid? I don't have a bed. What about that one right there? No, it's too comfy. An engraver, spider venom had a mood. Time for spider to go crazy. Well, he's moving, so we got the workshop at least. Craftsdorf it is. And he's going stone crafting. That's good. We got stones. I have been told that we've got stones. And he's away. All right. I need tallow and I need a lye containing item. Lie is rendering soap. So at 
our kitchen, who has been rendering fat before. Did you cook the fat? I specifically told you not to cook the fat. We have tallow. We have only eight tallow though. Why are you saying you can't render the fat? The fat made the tallow. That's not lie. This is where I always get confused in this. We have to get the lie. We have to get the tallow into lie. And that's done at a furnace? Hold on, back down below. We have to we have to do something to the damn tallow. It's not the soap makers, there's one more thing. Build workshop. It's a lie makers, right? This is why I never end up with soap. It's at an ashery. I think. We're gonna figure out afterwards that this isn't it. I'm always forgetting how this works. This is why we needed the ash, because you have to ash the tallow to make lye? Oh, a gym. He's still moving. Yo, as long as he's still moving, we're good. What does he grab so far, by the way? Gabbro, slate, slate, and a rough tanzanite. Would have been nice if he started with the slate. Oh, wait, it could have been a slate, whatever, but eh, whatever. Yoshi got confused? How is Yoshi confused? Eh, yeah, whatever. How's the hospital going? No one's in the hospital anymore. All right, time to see how badly our squad got messed up. Because they've gotten all the medicine they can. There is no more medicine to give them. Mr. Man TM, you were left with an infected toe. That's good. All your nerve damage appears to have been fixed. Domine, you were left with a missing wisdom tooth. That's fantastic. Um, Zastifer, you just have some arteries torn, but that'll cure. You don't have an infection, it looks like. And I don't think you can get an infection now that you've been closed up. So that should fix eventually, or you'll die of internal bleeding. One of those two things will happen. Hellfire, you're just screwed for the rest of your life because why? Your right foot has a nerve severed and your right hand has nerve severed. That makes sense. Why do you have a trouble breathing? You're not missing a lung. And Astrakhan was fine. So the only person who's really messed up is Hellfire. All right, let's see what Hellfire looks like in the game. What happened to Hell? Why is... What is Teal again? Is he missing a lung? That's why he has trouble breathing. If I go to his wounds, no, no. Hellfire, health. Where's Hellfire on this list? Will this one tell me what, what happened to his lung? Where's Hellfire? Venom, Delta, Mr. Man, TM, Spider, Venom, Art, Bear, Sanctum, Admiral, Wiley, Domine, Zakdos, Effective DG, Grogren, Hellfire, there you are. It says trouble breathing, but wh 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 what is the issue with the lung? What is teal? Yeah, what lung? Like it doesn't even say lung missing. <laughs> How is there an issue with the lung if there's nothing associated with the lung? Dwarf, fortress, wounds. I'm bad at remembering the color coding. Teal means there's been function loss. An important part of the part is completely lost, but the part is structurally sound. So somehow your lungs got function loss? The cyan function loss shows impairment of an organ for which broken or bruised would not make sense. Internal organs and eyes have been observed to turn cyan indicating failures of sight, liver function, or other maladies. A dwarf can serve, as, can serve nervous damage to sensory and motor nerves. Yep, that would be grabbing and stuff like that. That makes sense. I don't know. Like a function lost lung is confusing to me without there being damage to a lung. Do you have like asthma? Does this game do asthma? His neck was squished. Was that what it is? Am, is, is? Are they showing it as function loss because of the neck injury? He does have neck damage. That would make sense 
It's just weird that that's how they show it, but I guess they're trying to show difficulty breathing due to a crushed larynx. <laughs> but saying function loss on the lung doesn't make sense there. But I'll take it. I'll take that as our headcanon. If it's wrong, then I have no clue. All right, down below. Please consume more stone. Please. I beg you. More silt stone needs to be confirmed, converted to blocks. You over here. That's claimed by Spider Venom. He's still going. I don't know where he is, so that'll clear itself up eventually. But we gotta, we gotta get rid of like 24 stone. Is that him? Did you claim a bone? How are you still going? How complicated is this artifact? One gabbro, two slate, two rough tanzanites, one wood log, and now wild boar sow bone. All right, there's this. Now let's make potash. <laughs> uh, just make lie, I'm an idiot. It's right there. Do now. There we go. Now we have the lie to make the soap. I get why there's so many steps, because that it actually takes that many steps. But sometimes these things that take so many steps are just like, it's too much effort for it to worth. All right, he got the ash, but now he's got to go get the bucket of tallow. That's why we didn't cook the tallow. You better still be preparing lavish meals. I think he's having to go further and further to get the food because of the way this whole thing is set up. Like I should at some point eat into this area so I could transfer the food production up here. I think this is where that should really be. This should be a farmer's thing for processing and stuff, but that should be where the food production is. So real quick, how did I do that as an eight, I believe? That don't make sense. Were you an eight? Yeah, you were an eight, okay. The rooms are missing first, duh. No wonder it didn't make sense. And this one had to be cut short just because of this. So that one's gonna be slightly odd, but it'll do. Wait, no, no, don't do that yet. Don't do that yet. This is why I keep having stone issues. <laughs> Get rid of the stone first. Damn it. Hey, Spider Venom is not gonna go crazy. Spider Venom's artifact includes Gabbro, two slate, two rough tanzanite, a kumquat wood log. Z one kumquat wood log. Z wild boar sow bone, another rough tanzanite, copper bars, another rough tanzanite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 parts. That's a complicated artifact. Now I believe you made that so the soap makers can now make soap from tallow. And I'll do that three times. Cause now we got the lie. And then we'll have soap for the hospital. This isn't like a, gonna be a constant thing right now, but we got some soap out at least. All right. Consume stone. Eight unknown bedrooms, seven units without bedrooms. I, I don't understand why you don't have beds. Nweedler, there's your bed. I'm just gonna do it manually. Ral, there's your bed. Kumil, there's your bed. Ast, there's your bed. Who else doesn't have a bed? Archie, 8300, there's your bed. Yoshi the first, there's your bed. One unit does not have a bedroom. <laughs> Who? Who is the holdout for beds? Who's like, I don't need them. Deduke the child. There you go, child. Everyone has a bed. I don't want anyone saying they don't have beds now. They're dumb beds. I admit that, but at least you have a bed. 
Stop saying you don't have beds. What I can do for now, once this soap has been made, we can take these workshops out of here and I can make that be a bar block stockpile to get it out from upstairs because this is where it's supposed to be, freeing up the upstairs hallway. So that doesn't look quite as ugly. Spider, oops, sorry. Spider Venom the First, the engraver, has created Delith Gast, a Gabro ring. He claims it as a family ancestor, family heirloom. Delith Gast, the polished cleft, a Gabro ring, worth 105,600 dwarf bucks. This is a Gabro ring. All craft dwarfship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with point cut tanzanites and encircled with bands of cushioned slate cabicons, radiant cut tanzanites, and kumquat wood. This object is adorned with hanging rings of Gabro and menaces with spikes of slate, tanzanite, wild boar bone, and in fact, copper. On the item is an image of Zeus Gas, Clasp Texas, the Goblet, and at Amzir Fernflu, the Heliotrope Sky, the Rock in Tanzanite. Amzir Fernflu, the Heliotrope Sky, is striking down Zusp Gas, Clasp Texas. The arc relates to the killing of the Goblin, Zusp Gas, Clasp Texas, by the Rock Amzir Fernflu, the, the Heliotrope Sky, in Plague Dab, in the Murk of Spires, in the early autumn of three during the rampage of the rock Amzir Fernflu, the Heliotrope Sky, in Plague Dab. So you made a ring of a bird killing a goblin. <laughs> After all, I mean, hey, whatever. That is like the single most expensive item we've had in the game so far. All right, I can get rid of the damn Ashery. Leave me alone. The forgotten beast Umam has come. A gigantic one-eyed capybara. It is a long hanging tail and it undulates rhythmically. Its chestnut hair is very curly. Beware its deadly blood. How many forgotten beasts are we getting in these caves? I almost want to do a bet. Is there, uh, can I do bets? Is there a way to do a bet? Not poll, bet. There, there's a way to do a bet, in there? I want you guys to do a bet of who's gonna win. Umam or Toasted. Oh no, what's up, Lunartic? So far, my day has been good. I don't know what's happening in yours, but like, yeah, prediction? Prediction's the bet. I gotta do the slash, don't I? Yeah, prediction. Start prediction. Name the prediction. Who will win the beast off? Outcome one, Umam the Capybara or Enol the Frog. All right, you guys got about one minute to place your bets. Yeah, okay, got it. All right, who is going to win, Umam or Enol? It might take a minute before one of them kills the other. No, I don't want to do prediction again. They canceled our flight to Denver an hour before we depart. We're supposed to pick up a puppy tomorrow at nine. The rebook gets in at one. One, that sucks. Two, are they paying you? They have to pay you money. If they've pushed, like, if they push your flight because of overboarding and stuff like that, then you get money. I, I've done a lot of flying in the military. Actually, I had a way where I got frequent flyer miles from American Express um, for the flights I was taking for the army, which meant they were paying for it. I was on the army dime, but I got frequent flyer miles. You're going to be a very tired person, Froge. All right. Where is... <laughs> Looks like Umam's going for the naval advantage against a frog. As you do, everyone knows in the water that... Ooh, are you fighting someone? I just see you by yourself. Why are you freaking out? 
Suddenly he's charging and shit and there was nothing happening. All right, real quick, where is Enol? 98 versus 114. So he's gonna have to do that weird room where they connect to each other. They do connect, they're not separate. But unless one of them does that weird path through the caverns, they're not gonna find each other. Hopefully their just natural aggression pulls them in towards each other. This one's getting distracted by creatures that are in his level still. Come on. This might take a minute before this fight happens. They're not naturally aggressive towards each other, but if they find each other, they will fight. Denver, okay. I don't think you can get paid for that one. <laughs> I had put it in for a minute. I thought that was long enough because I didn't think it was going to be, well, one of them already disappeared. Did the other one die? No, he's just not here. Was it a mom? That's going to be awkward. <laughs> Where did he go? He's not dead. So he was here. Why don't I see him anymore? Did he did he die to a crundle? Enol. Oh no, this is the other one. This this is Enol. So where did the mom go? Where was the guy on floor 112? There must be a part of the map I don't see still. Yeah, he's in the deep water. That's the issue. I don't see the whole map. He'll come back eventually. <laughs> We're just gonna, he's just gone forever now. He, he, he is pissed off. <laughs> Dude, if he found a way to just drown him, lose it. Like, what? Can I tell you to make rock blocks on repeat? Uh, Siltstone. All right. Uh, another use for our stone. Build construction floor. Siltstone. Make this a little tunnel. What I can probably end up doing is putting traps in that little tunnel just for the off chance someone goes down there. Like, not an actual major trapped hallway or anything, but just in case. And when that's across, I can cover up the other area. Make this be one goofy complex of entrance. All right, come on, use that stone. All right, this one back to rock mugs. I was trying to make Gabbro. So I don't think we got enough. I'm gonna need more for the other floors anyways. Even if I did have enough, I'm going to need more for the other floors. I'm gonna up that one to 90. The trade tube. He's back. Oh, wrong button. Told you he was just in the water. Oh, wait. Umam swam to the other one's floor. They're close. Yeah. Umam found a water tunnel, I guess? All right, he's in the upper left. Hold on, I'm gonna zoom out. One of them's in the upper left corner. Enol is in the upper left corner right now. And Umam is in the lower, I don't see the cursor. Oh, oh no, they're really close, I think. 97 upper left. 97 upper left. Hold on. I'm just trying to make sure they're close. 98 upper left. 
Oh, yeah, no, okay, we're about to have the fight. Yeah, he's running over to him right now. Ooh, ooh mom. Ooh, mom's gonna take on our, 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 uh, our big boy. I knew they'd find each other eventually. That's a crundle, though. So where did the other one go? Enel. Uh-oh. Enel's above the crundle. Literally, it's him, the crundle, and the Enel's here, but up a Z level. Enel's gonna do a sneak attack. Actually, before this happens, what does Enel's blood do? Hold on. In the off chance he dies, I need to figure this out now. How does this work? Does he have no effects right now? He's just tired. All right, have you been uh, infected? All right, Umam's on the ground, Enol's on the ground. Godzilla versus Frog. <laughs> Godzilla the Capybara. Okay, I think this is Umam, the new gentleman. Umam's power is to cause un uh, is to cause unconsciousness, whereas Enol's power we don't know yet still. We still don't know. That's a lot of unconsciousness. Ooh. Ooh, mom's getting his mouth slapped. Can't be no capybara if you ain't got thousands of teeth. How many teeth did he knock? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 28, 29. 29 teeth in one slap. And uh, I think Enel won. <laughs> what the hell just happened to Umam? How how is it Enel had unconsciousness all over him, but but he's the one that won? It ain't growing back now, Darren. They ain't growing back now. How do I how do I end the prediction? Outcome. Enol won. Enol the frog. Are you sure Enol the frog won? Yes. There you go. <laughs> Does he go to sleep? What does the frog do? I still don't know what the frog does. What does the frog's poison do? This ended with the frog kicked the capybara in the upper body with his left front foot and the upper body exploded into gore. So he literally kicked him in the chest and he just, his capybara flesh could not take it. He could not take the frog kick. Enol reigns supreme yet again in his own bloodbath that will know no end. He got messed up though. He got a lot of damage. Everything on him is really messed up. And, but he's... He's still got unconsciousness on him. I don't know what the three numbers mean. 94, 8, 2, 6, 3026. Size dilutes and is resistible. Power 100. Shouldn't he be asleep? I thought 100 is like the max. Like, I know it says size dilutes, but if that is the single most amount of sleepy you could be, how does, does this frog never sleep? Is this an immortal frog of everything will die? I don't want to go down there and fuck with that frog. That frog is scary. I want 50 points. Froge, Froge is undefeated. We will have to wait for another Forgotten Beast to see if something can usurp the Froge. All right, um, we have more than eight. I can now clear out this one. This one should not be doing siltstone blocks anyways. That'll be his last one because these should have been being done downstairs. I don't know why I order them up here. Yeah, right. Oh, 
Well, no, that's not his blood. His blood does something else. We've yet to figure out what the frog's blood does. That's, that's like one of the scariest things. We don't know what he does. A huge toad with external ribs. It has large mandibles and it is ravening. Its pale pink skin is sleek and smooth. Beware its deadly blood. And I don't know what his blood does. So far, he he fought a forgotten beast who caused 100 pain, which like just kills you with the amount of pain it causes. And now he's fought and killed a forgotten beast who does 100 sleep. So this frog feels no pain and does not sleep. I do not like, but we have yet to figure out what he does. Like we don't know what his blood actually does because anything that comes in contact with it just seems to die. <laughs> We've yet to, I've yet to be able to click on a unit doused in his blood and go, hey, what is afflicting you good, sir? Because by the time I get it done, they're dead. <laughs> they're, they're just D-E-D -E -D dead. They are not coming back. <laughs> so we don't know what the hell's going on. Make a few more bins just because the trade depot looks like it's got no bins. No, no. 100% pain was what he was experiencing from the last Forgotten Beast. We haven't seen what he causes. He was the one that was experiencing the pain and had no shits to give about it. Yeah, that was a different beast. We keep seeing everyone else's blood on him, but we haven't seen what his blood looks like on other people. That's our issue. It is still a complete mystery. We just see him fight people and they die somehow. <laughs> it's like a Rick and Morty episode. Don't touch me, you'll die. And there's no shining lights or anything. It's just instant and complete darkness. <laughs> what happened? He died. It was so, it was so instant. <laughs> Nothing happened. Scary, isn't it? Like, what does it do? <laughs> it's gonna be like Final Fantasy, like level five death or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> they just keep dying. All right. I got rid of all the stockpiles because my thought is I can shut these down. All right. The mechanic I can definitely get rid of. We're not doing mechanics up here. He's gonna finish his mugs or at least get a couple of them done so he has no stones. The Mason's Workshop, I wanna get rid of. You have doors and cabinets and stuff and I forgot all about that so I wasn't paying attention. All right, does everyone on this floor have cabinets? Everyone has cabinets here? Good. Everyone on here, can you start getting cabinets so we can stop having issues with clothing? All right, now I had the wood chest for other places that I might need it. I'm wondering if somehow his blood just causes death. Because if we look through it, the giant cave to the forgotten beast, Enol is fighting. No, no, Umam. Go to the beginning. Where is it when he started fighting? Anywhere in here does it say like he succumbed to the goo? Artery was opened. That's where he started getting his blood everywhere. And then I don't see anything in here talking about succumbing to the disease or anything. And I don't think that like in other than doing a like a massive series of things, I don't know how we can tell what his disease is. Just melts the skin off of things. Well, the combat report doesn't ever mention skin falling off. Like nothing in here is like the skin starts melting or anything. Like there's nothing, there's nothing in this other than like just combat statistics. So whatever it is, I'm wondering if it's like something simple. If it is corrosion, we definitely don't want to fight it then. I like my dwarves to be complete. Mm -hmm. Uh, can I check the body? Animals? No, no. Reports. Umam. Go here. 
Where, 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 where did Inan die? Here, right? Umam's mangled corpse. It just says this is a corpse. And it definitely doesn't help that everything else just dies immediately. Weird little blood pit. The crundle. Yeah. Like this. This is where he killed the other forgotten beast too. Like I'm not even sure he's like I'm not entirely sure he himself has even bled yet. None of this is his blood. So for all we know, it hasn't even happened. Like some weird anime villain. Like you haven't seen my fucking trap card or some shit. We don't even see his blood anywhere. I don't think yet other than unnamed forgotten beast blood. That's untamed's forgotten beast blood. Whatever that means. There's, there's Enol, so he has bled. Enol has bled somewhere. It's down here. And his name is Enol Throw Swords. That's not terrifying. No clue. Tired Navy vets gone oblivious again. I got you a temple and everything, dude. I'm not sure what to do with you. Um. All right. I was going to treat this as a... Have these gone away? Yes. I was going to treat this as my bar block stockpile to get everything upstairs down here. By bar block, I mean block. I'll turn that on. I don't think we have a block of any of that, but whatever. Uh, permit? Yeah. Bring all the blocks down here so I can tell this that they can't have blocks anymore and see what happens. A lot of activity is happening, that's for sure. So I think this is kind of filled up on blocks. Start getting them out of here. I'm worried about eating this, destroying this, because everything's going to explode. He got all of his doors already, which is good, but they don't have their doors. So Gabro, 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 Gabro. There you go. Five doors from upstairs. So much finagling of everything. You can start doing things. Hold on. We need about... I might have an excess, that's fine. JMQ, cabinet, rock, 20. The details of which are that it will be quartzite. Q, coffer, 20. The details of which are that it will be quartzite. So we can get more furniture and stuff out of the damn way. If we go back up to here, I thought I'd put a sec, oh, the new chest was up there. That's what it was. Now, we were storing artifacts down here. Yes. However, build display case, display furniture. I'm not sure where to put it. I can put it back here. I don't think this one's too in the way. I don't know which one's being calculated off of for their dancing area, but I'll do it here. And this way I can start transferring the artifacts into the display furniture. The rental car place closes at 11.45. 45 minutes before a rebooked flight arrives. Ooh. But they said they can wait up to two hours until closing for us because my dad who booked the car is a free... Oh, that's nice. You gotta love it when you get frequent customer privileges. All right. You have been built. Set displayed items. I want the breastplate to be used by the military, so I'm not putting that in here. The cotton cape I'll put in, the gabbro ring, the slate ring, and the avocado wood bracelet can all go in here. That jagged iron breastplate, I think, should be used by the military. Like, by default. And that means I can get rid of the... 
Can I make you a museum? You've already got it you all in you. So what is this? Why aren't you in? Are you the breastplate? No, it's a Gabbro ring. Why aren't you in there? The Leth gasp. Oh, it's supposed to be here, but they didn't put it in yet? Yeah, okay, they just haven't put them in yet. And what are you two doing? They're simulating people. Stop simulating. It's weird. Come on. There we go. Now I can get rid of this stockpile that I was slightly nervous about. We already have a tavern keeper to do people's booze and stuff. All right, that is working well. We got rid of the middle one. What do you have left in you? No, 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 no. You don't take the generals. You're not supposed to have work orders. Put it at the other one. You should stop. Stop. We're gonna need more bins. And you allow bins here, right? Yes, you allow bins. Why is there a barrel here? And it's just left over from the other thing. Yeah, I'm ignoring that. We very nearly freed up the second floor, at least for now. It's been a long time, I admit, but at least we're getting it done. This is still my big issue though. For as everything is, I don't want to have like one complete lock off for the entire base, if that makes sense. But in the way, that's always going to happen. The fourth level will have a lock off for below and the first level will have a lock off for the top. But the issue is if you do that, you've locked off the whole base. You know, like I, I don't want to do that. So I need a way where I can lock off the first floor from this individually. I want a separate security check for each floor. And I'm not sure how to do that here. What I could do is if I can, ooh, mouse sensitivity is randomly high, is if I had a weird secondary tunnel from the right side of this floor to the left side of this floor, what I could do is just have a way that you could block off this floor accessing that, and that would have one way for this and one way for the entrance to the next floor. That would be pretty neato, but I would be getting rid of the giant circular path here. They would all have to be going down here, and that would kind of make it be a centralized, like I wanted to make sure there were choices so people could try to get out of each other's way more. And if I do that, I feel like I'll be funneling them all down here. Conundrums. The big issue is that that's where the hospital is. The hospital should not have been accessed behind the front door. That's just weird. But that is what we did, so we have to live with it. We have goblinite on the floor, but at least we don't have bodies. Uh, this craft shop, are you still like trying to somehow get rid of all those shells? So many shells. And what are you doing? Nothing, it looks like. Decorate with shell. We'll, we'll just have two of these going at once. Decorate shell gym shell crafts. Shell gym shell crafts. They're all on repeat. We have multiple people doing this. Maybe we'll be good. And you can have the extra thing of making a totem. How about that? You could be a totem boy. <sighs> Bins are going in for most of this. I got to bring. Is this cloth or is this the codice pages? That is cloth. First thing to bring down. All right, you. Get those blocks out of the way. So this supposedly just has... No, the blocks haven't been taken out yet. They appear to be condensing, though. If we can just get bins down here, it'll be fine. Something is causing a lag spike. I'm not that worried. You, are you trying to kill something right now? Is there anything near you that isn't you? Enol throw swords? Well, he got aggressive at something, so something's gonna die. I think he just killed it in one hit, whatever it was. <sighs> that was a crundle. Anything about his blood or anything? 
Is it possible to have blood that somehow makes you super strong? Like maybe he has regenerative blood. It's a it's a forgotten beast thing with a benefit. Uh, you are still making mugs. However, comma, this one, uh, no, it doesn't have its 90. I'll get rid of that one and that one. Between, once that's done, we can get rid of that. Definitely move things down. We should start doing that now. We got the, the middle one out of the way. So, what should be moved in? Farmer's Workshop, I think, already is in. Why am I processing plants up here? Because none of this is a Farmer's Workshop, and I have no clue what I'm talking about. Okay, that one's on me. Um, still should be moved down. Because that's where the booze is. Build workshop still. Macadamia wood blocks. We'll do fine. This is just seeds. It's not where plants are. Because where's my plants being stored? In here. That's right. This is the food stockpile. Do you do plants? Yeah, I haven't separated that out yet. You're still doing plants. All right, let's get the still inside. Still shouldn't be outside. It makes no sense to have plants in here. Go up there, come back down here. This is still not the best setup, but this should make more sense. Are you fighting something still? He's caused so much blood down there. You, you improved a fruit pot. Okay. Can someone build this still, please? If you finish the still, there'll be less travel. What do you keep grabbing? What is this one? Ah, the Kjartan. Of course. Like, our others is like plummeting. This kitchen needs to be more active. Like, he says he's active, but somehow he's not doing anything. Who's cooking? Whoever is cooking, he takes forever to cook. That's not That's not good. I was about to say it's not necessarily good. No, it's just not good. Someone is construct constructing the building. Nope, no one's constructing the building. They quit on that. Cool, cool. I love it when people quit. He says he's at the kitchen. Go to unit. What are you doing? Follow. Okay, it's just because the kitchen's not stored centrally to the food. He has to do like 19 return trips. This is why we got to separate things out. If I can get the plants out of there, I'll probably free up about nine squares. I can move the kitchen in there, and it'll just be done in-house. Which is why I need this stuff up here to process the damn plants from here. Mm. I need the stones to get out of my damn way. Because he is clearly taking too damn long. And can someone please build the still? Why did you guys stop on that? Thank you. All right. This still is built. This spill is working off of... I think a general work order. Or have you just been repeat booze the whole time? Drink from fruit, drink from plant. Apparently I've just been repeating the whole time. Drink from plant, repeat, drink from fruit, repeat. And then up here, they won't be on repeat. Actually, they're not even active right now anyways. Boom, boom, problem solved. You have a lot of booze up here. We are filled down below apparently. We've got to work on our foods. All right, Farmer's Workshop. You should not be processing plants. It's because I don't have you downstairs. I keep forgetting. Carpenters, you're going down. Craftsdorf, you don't need to be here. How do I get rid of you? X. Clothiers, you don't need to be here either, but I got to build you downstairs first. You're going to be part of that set upstairs. The middle one got removed. Carpenter... Crafter, what's in the middle? Probably the wood burner, which I put in here, the wood furnace. That shouldn't be a wood furnace. That's just supposed to be making fuel. So up here, build furnace, wood furnace. You should be here. Quartzite block, because I can. Which frees up one from down below. So is one of you supposed to be lower? Actually, the whole clothing industry should be north. What would be further? Eh, whatever. Figure it out later. It hasn't freed us up a slot. They just fixed one down below. Well, even though we're going to have an issue with stone, this has to get dug out at some point anyways. 
or else it never will. You're gonna have to be there. Then we can move down. This is where the farmer's workshop is, the clothiers and the loom, because this is the clothing industry. Southeast will still probably be the food industry and the kitchen industry, but actually the kitchen will be in here because it needs to be near where I'm storing the food. Makes sense. Do, 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 do. This needs to start getting channeled out, but our miners are doing that. I don't want to over, again, that would be more stone right now. I still haven't cleared out this area entirely. Um, I am going to say this area has to give to this area. So I'd rather this area be filled up more and that can still take from anywhere. I just want to make sure that, that gets the love of it. We need more bins. And how are you doing on blocks? The bins will free up the blocks. We have a table and two thrones remaining. Why? Either way, what we have for blocks is not that many. Get rid of the thing. We got to start moving the carpenter and the wood down here. Which means this, for right now, should be a wood stockpile. Get all the wood down here. We are finally moving into the floors where they need to be. We have... We have, we're like two thirds through the second layer, which means at some point soon I gotta start working on that third layer 30 further down. The first layer is kind of getting finalized into its positions. Once we've gotten that first, second and third, I'll say at 90 each, then we can start divvying up where all the food and stuff goes. Cause I have to get this light well through down below. I do need a library, but a library is another one of those weird ones of where do you put it? We're gonna have to have multiple libraries. Because there's actually a subfloor between floor one and two, or layers one and two, and a subfloor between three and four. That that's where I think really you should have the hospital, the local barracks, a library, a temple. So we we're getting one set, two will be set. Then between 130 and 100, at about 115, is where I need to have their subfloor. But notice we have an issue. We have secured it, which means that this subfloor will probably just end up being in the cavern layer. Like this will just be it. Right now we haven't done much with it, but we're gonna have to soon. And as you can see, this is connected off the south. We haven't like even looked at that subfloor really. It's a little close to down here. It's not, it's supposed to be at 15, but What's the point of having a 30 floor spread if you can't be, you know, a little wherever with it? So that's going to be where the subfloor is, meaning I got to transfer things to here. But that will come with time. All right, smooth this over. Then unsmooth that. Do, do, do. All right, the woods, um, the Wood's getting moved in, but the blocks haven't been taken out of the way yet. This should be like the plant clothing things. I don't know if I want that to be wood. We're going to have plants. So build workshop. Farmer's workshop should be here. We're going to need that for processing and plants. And we access plants up here. Siltstone blocks. We're gonna need a still up here to turn it into booze. It's kind of weird that we're gonna have one thing for both the plants, but that's what, how that'll have to work. And then we have to do the actual clothing industry. And the problem with that is it's two step, right? Or do we, I don't think I need a loom. Build workshop clothiers. And we might have, actually no, no. Frick, I can't build these yet. They have to smooth it over. We're going to have a thing below it that looks going to look ugly. Smooth, guys. Smooth. Please, hurry up. You're, like, costing me. And then that one up there, we're just going to transfer all the plants to. 
we can free the plants from here. And if I can squeeze it, that about nine spaces are empty now, I'll put the kitchen in there. So there'll be a lot less travel time and our throughput on cooking food. Oh no, he's not claimed something. He's just being stupid. Shit. Not our tavern keeper. All right, what are you good at? Mason? We have a Mason, so it can't be that. You don't have any other skills, dude. What, what do you want? Your only skill is masonry and you don't want that. Do I not have a masonry right here? Claim it. <sighs> Hold on. What, what do you possibly want? Engraver and bowyery. He wants to be a bowyer? I need to see bowyery in his skills. Build workshop. Fine. Make a damn crossbow. Shit. There. Do it. Yeah. There you go. You happy? He wants to make a crossbow. Fine. wooden crossbow well he took a stone at least and he's off yep because that one thing got built this got cancelled damn it F. For right now, I might change it, but for right now, this is plants. Meaning if I come over here, grab you, turn off plants. Move. <laughs> Whatever it is you're needing to do, do it. Oh, don't move them individually. Take the whole freaking... You guys are so dumb. Take the whole barrel. Why would you do it individually? Why? You're telling me there's not a single barrel over there that isn't, at, that isn't completely plant? Oh God, you guys. All right, well, he is good. He did whatever he needed. How many parts? That's a lot of parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. All right. Yo, are you making bins, dude? Everything is like on hold because this one carpenter does not have the bins. More bin. Do now. Because now we're going to need to get that out of the way so we can do large pot. Uh, this wood furnace. I'm not entirely sure that's supposed to be there, but whatever. Craft dwarf will still stay there, so that's good. Build workshop. Farmer's workshop. I think we'll go here. Still stone blocks. Uh, I need, I think a clothier's right here. Still stone blocks. Plant plus and a still. We might need to get an extra thing off of this for each one because there's so many things that touch plants. All right, you are now good. Meaning this farmer's workshop, you're just a ge general one or are you on repeat the process? You're just on repeat. All right, I'll take that off of repeat and then we'll go down here to this one and put you on process on repeat. Not file, put you on repeat down there. And then once it's down, not up here anymore, which it isn't, we can remove that building. Finally. What is this? What is this? 
unprepared fish. Now I need to think of that makes sense. The still should be moving down. I think I've already moved it down in a way. I put the still over here for now. And now I just moved it again, again up here. Plants repeat, fruit repeat. So you should not be down here. Plants and fruit on off repeat. And now I'll move it down there as well. Either way, Meng Avuz Gakiz, the tavern keeper, has created On Shin Raved, a jagged olive wood blowgun. She claims it as a family heirloom in the name of Crazy Pants. On Shin Raved, Chant Freckle, a jagged olive wood blowgun, worth 51,600 dwarf bucks. This is a jagged olive wood blowgun. All craft dwarfship is of the highest quality. It is encircled with bands of reindeer bone. The object menaces with spikes of silt stone and iron. On the item is an image of a rose cut gem in olive wood. On the item is an image of three spider monkey men in reindeer leather. On the item is an image of grape vines in iron. On the item is an image of Kogan Gravelbite, the dwarf and dwarves in pink tourmaline. Kogan Gravelbite is surrounded by the dwarves. The arc relates to the ascension of the dwarf Kogan Gravelbite to the position of king of the past palace in the year one. On the item is an image of polished cleft, the gabbro ring and jaguar bone. Well, that's nice. It referenced the other one. Time to put it in this thing, because I'm not using a blowgun. What the hell am I supposed to do with a blowgun? All right. Either way, we have this still now. So this still can definitely go away. Boom. Moving things in. You were the... F so much cotton thread. I hadn't even thought about cloth storage. I don't know why I hadn't thought of that, but I hadn't even thought about cloth storage. All right. That's getting moved. That's getting moved. Might need to come up with... Hold on. I'm acting like I don't have a place to store some of this right now. If this is going to be a thing eventually later, then I might as well just use it now. Like, if I don't have a cloth storage, why don't I just have a cloth storage? Right? Just get it down there. Let's go. That's a bit far for the clothing industry, but I don't think it's too terribly bad. Then anything over here. Because that is a bit down. It's 113, so it's, what, 17 down as opposed to 7 up? It's 10 extra steps. I might actually end up just moving the clothing industry down there for now. I need more bins. More bins. More f booze. You're telling me. Yeah, because they were taking them out one by one like assholes. Why? Why didn't you just take the whole damn thing? You. Rock, crafts, repeat, use. Schist. I don't like schist. Get the stone out of the way. Let's go. We need more bins so we can get rid of more blocks. We need more blocks so we can start building. We need less blocks so we can start building. Did I hear morbid? Yes, it's morbid time, everyone. And then also... If we're already, okay, no, no, hold on. I need to set up the zooms. Yes, okay, this is the gate. The base, I set this as two. That makes sense. This, however, right here should be three. Zoom here, this will be called sub, sub floor one. Sub floor one. Base two will be called floor one. This should be four zooms here, and this should be called floor two. And it really should be level, but whatever. Also, I said two and typed in one. There you go. And then where I said gate, that should be above ground. Above grod. 
Sure. So now I have one, two, three, four. That is a lot of cloth we had that I wasn't aware of. Oh, we had bins. I was buying some of these things in bins. Okay. The wood one. Wood makes large pots for foods. I think we're good on pot, but we have to make sure. Do I have anything checking for pots? Nothing's even checking for pots. I have one thing paying attention to clothing and that's it. What is this? What do we have like 9 billion of? Alfalfa and cotton. Man, do I have a lot of cotton. You, I don't need it anymore. Get out of my way. Get out of the way, Bowyers. Like things like the Bowyers should probably be on like a barracks room. Which reminds me, no one's been moving the clo the armor and shit. I don't want to make a thing for you, but I should have had a second one to begin with. Now, why was I nervous about building around here? Because it's in the way. That's why I was nervous. Okay. Well, building up here shouldn't be bad. I just can't touch that. So, what if I do this? A nine by nine off the edge. which means the five as a three touches. I can have armor and weapon, separate out armor and weapons. They have room for expansion if needed. I don't think I'm, this is off the top edge. So there should not be anything going down up here. This is where it should be. And then I can get the weapons and armor transferred up there to have more room to get it out from the main thing. And at some point, I'll have to figure out what I'm melting down. And something is wrong with these bolts. I'm seeing individual bolts. I hate when the game does that. This thing should only allow stacks of bolts, not individual bolts. That'll free up the goblinite from here. The melter is down below. This still is already doing things, so this still can go away. Our alcohol is doing fine. Our kitchen is not. And we are saving. Fantastic. So wherever we were doing is no longer a problem. We still have blocks. What is happening to all of our bins? Like we're making tons of bins and nothing is happening anywhere. Okay, the cloth is getting sorted. We, we, we hit a critical mass of bins or something and we have tons of cloth space. That's good. Like even as they're taking it, they're using it. I'm fine with that. Um, it's doing a thing where it's doing two songs at the, the beginning of a seasonal transition. He's making pot for food. I need more bags. Where's my clothiers? Cloth. Make a bunch of bags. Stop replaying Subasoft. Give me sub base off again. I'm going to ban this. Problem is, I think it would ban it from both channels. Like, you're not a sub bass. You're just some weird second not mixing music. Like, I feel like they're untimed or something. Like, they're off sync. All right. Wood Furnace doesn't need to be doing anything right now. Also, that hospital. You got the soap, right? Yes, they got the soap. Not much of it, but they got the soap. I can work on more soap later. The waterfall's working well. It is raining. Gotta free up space over here so that that kitchen can go right in. This poor man's walking back and forth every time. All right, you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna do it now. 
Um, you should be surrounded there. Build. I oh, know. DS. Smooth. Right there, I think, is where I did it. We'll smooth it first, then we'll move the kitchen in. And hopefully that'll get them to condense the food out of those barrels, maybe? What tile set? This is... <coughs> Vetlinger 32 by 32, custom spliced for the right using Chisel Clean. See, that, that sub thing don't work right. I think I still hear it in my nightmares. Who's too depressed? Retired Navy vet is depressed again. How are you doing in terms of stress, my dude? He's at 40,000. Where was he before? Do, do I, did I write down what this man had before for stress? Is he getting better? Or is he getting worse? I don't know where my stress notes are for that man. I don't know. He's the only one that's stressed though. Why? Why are you so stressed? Even, okay, that guy's getting a little stressed. He's just so stressed. I don't know if he used to be like 6,000 or if he used to be like 60,000. I think he's getting better. I'm not sure. All right, Carpenter, I'm moving you out from up there just because you're just not working. Build workshop Carpenter. Siltstone. Be down here close to the wood. Also, I need more wood. Still construction floor. Cover up some of the dangerous water with siltstone. It won't use up much of it, but it'll use up a bit. I thought this was a full thing. It is not. This will save me losing some wood to the water below as well. Because this is why I keep fighting in the base. Because I'm nervous if I fight up here, my doors will fall in the water. Which will definitely kill them. Oh, and I forgot I was doing this up here, too. Not that this is completely necessary, but it would be nice to have a bit of a roof over whatever they're doing in this path. Not like they're going to get, not like this is going to stop a rock just flying in the side anyways to hit them. And we'll leave a gap of... Ooh, there we go. We did get through the blocks again. You know what that means? I need more siltstone blocks. They are doing it, actually. All right. Um, we appear to be still building cabinets. Cabinet is what? Across the door? C cabinets cross the door. All right, all your beds gonna look nice. That forgotten beast is still gonna kill us if we if I try to breach that cavern to the northeast. And do we have any quartzite chests? We do.
This should help with your belongings, you idiots. Stop leaving them on the ground. At least fold them and put them on your bed or something. Did some of these get suspended? No, those are just old ones. All right, that'll sort out a lot of that. Oh, look, I see holes. I see holes in the stockpile. Yes, consume the blocks. Someone consume the blocks, get them out of my damn way. Consume. Consume to your heart's content. Get the blocks out of here. I still gotta get those stones out of the way up there too, because they're not supposed to be stones. That's supposed to be where the bar blocks are. Not the bar blocks, the bars. are we doing on food? Oh, 420. Build workshop kitchen. If you're in here, this has got to go smoother, right? Durian wood block. Got to have that durian wood. Look, I know you want a guild hall. I cannot do it right now. I do not have the space for your, your guild hall. This is going to be moved soon. This is just my metal bars, right? Just iron bars galore. Yes, that'll get moved down here. As soon as this stone clears out. And this stone stockpile is already set to go to the stone pile below. Just look at those blocks just disappearing. Huzzah. Still got to get paper in as well. Now, cloth got handled. That's good. You know what else I think is lying around? Leather. So I'm going to condense this cloth pile. Hello, don't mind me. And I don't think I have a big leather pile anywhere. So let's see if we can't get leather brought down because I think that's what some of the things I traded for. And then when leather is filled, I'll shunt it down again and the remaining stuff can be for parchments because I think that's the last holdout. It's parchments. We gotta get anvils and stuff brought in too. I wanna clear up the mud, but only in that hallway. Like I, we need the mud here for the farm. So I clear up all the mud, the farm doesn't work. This needs more, more large pots. You have stopped making large pots, haven't you? We need more pot. All right, well, the bags look like they worked for the seeds. That got condensed down again, just good. This kitchen is set up, aren't you? Yes, good. No, I built the clothiers? What is wrong with me? It's a Z for kitchen, not a K. I got confused. I said kitchen in my head and I just assumed K and just hit K. We have excess stone still lying around. Stone pots use stone. Isn't a wooden pot lighter though? Like my, my reasoning for using the pots is that they are larger and lighter or they have a larger carrying capacity and lighter. If I use a stone one, I don't think I, I'm still lighter. I think that is my issue. I think the lightest one is clay, isn't it? I'm not even gonna get into a clay industry right now. Um, Is that leather? Okay, we're bringing, okay, they're bringing leather down. Meaning I was right. I didn't have a leather thing somewhere else. Either that or I had a very small one. Search leather. I only have one leather stockpile. Bring the leather down. You, are you still doing the shell crafts? Please, please someone get rid of all my dirty shells. Others down to 439. Build workshop kitchen, not clothiers. Macadamia wood. I can't believe that they didn't bring any of the pots over. They brought over some pots. I like. I think if there's like two or three empty pots in there, I think we'd hit a critical amount where they'd free up space to bring over pots to free up space to bring over pots. They just need some pots in there. I don't know where like this dude's going with all my pots, but he needs to use it in better locations. Please. I think he's bringing over there some nonsense. This 
See, like right now they're bringing over individual plants. We need some pots in there. Someone bring a pot over, please. Like, I think I'm using up a lot of the pots for booze. I don't want to cut back on the booze. We have 2,100 booze though. It been cut back for a second on the booze. Let's see if we take some pots and give it to the plants. How about that? How about plants get pot? Pot for plants. Otherwise you are just a pain. Pain in my rear. Um, you are making schist crafts to get the schist out of my way. He's using the quartzite and making blocks. Mechanic's just being a mechanic. Can't can't fault him for doing what he's been told to do, and he's doing it right. All right, the blocks stockpile has been trimmed out, meaning you are a bar stockpile, meaning you are losing stone. Fantastic. If you are losing stone, one, two, three, four, five, hold on. One, 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 two, 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 three, three, Two, 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 four, two. There's enough. Some of these are having four gaps. Remove all that. Put a bar block pile up here. Bring it all the way across. How about that? Put a bar block pile up here. This pile will only allow the bars of metal, which is what I think this one allows. Is that all you allow? You do allow other materials. I'll let it allow other materials for right now. Now that is three times what? No, no, no. Three times 26 compared to five times seven. Yeah, no, this can go away now. That has freed up that hall. Those bars can go into the top rows. The stones can get moved down a little bit. We've compressed that out of our way. And apparently there was a little bit of hall we never smoothed before. Let's fix that. So the bar blocks are out of my way one way or another. That has been sorted. Why does it look like they're carrying crazy things? All right. This one is jewelry. Still haven't fixed the vanity projects. That can wait. That F3 is still throwing me off. And we're getting a higher concentration of slate left over. So we're gonna have to do like legit things with slate later. Yeah, it allows barrels. They're just not. It's not taking the priority on barrels. Something else is stealing all of our barrels. Uh, wood. We'll make more pot. We have excess pot. Okay. Is the issue that we have excess plants? I'm gonna create a temporary stockpile in the middle here. I think it's, I always get this backwards. I'm gonna say furniture, furniture for large pot. It is a large pot. Put the pots there. Maybe they're in the stockpile, they'll sort it out. Like, you guys need to just condense the plants. The plants don't need bags. The seeds need bags. What if I say this? Take from anywhere and we'll only take from here. I don't even know if that makes sense. But if they stop grabbing excess plants, will they grab the pots and condense? If they condense, we're good. The problem is just we gotta clear up some headroom and it can it can optimize itself after that. They just need to get some pots into it. Now that kitchen has been installed, yes? No, construction inactive. This is a jeweler's, that's the kitchen. Stop preparing lavish meals. You can't keep up ahead of it anyways. Just go make the other kitchen.
really the kitchen should probably end up over here, but that's something I can sort out later. Um, come on. Condense. Take from links only. It's just that pot. I swear I keep seeing them bring in plants after I said links only. We have one barrel in there and he took a plant from that barrel. Could have taken it from anywhere else. Has to take the plant from that one barrel. What is in here? This is cotton stuff, right? Pin of amaranth, blood amaranth. Oh my God, all the stupid plants. Let's go. Like I even told this thing to stop making booze. I don't know if that was a good answer or right answer. As a matter of fact, yeah, you just, you go back to making the booze for now. Actually, that should be on a, on a cooldown. It should be, what, a hundred times dwarves? We're not at that number right now. We have, how many dwarves do we have? We have, so we need 8,000 alcohol. We only have 2,000. Yeah, you just go back to doing stuff regularly. At least I'll eat some plants. Come on, you have the, the pots. Condense, you bastards. Okay, weird thing. Food. If you have overhead, will you figure out the condense? How about that? Whatever the hangup is, if I just allow plants, it has to eventually have enough space that it can condense, right? Please tell me I didn't just make a gigantic stockpile that'll be completely filled with individual plants. Please start condensing. I saw some plants getting taken out of this one. I don't know what's happening to them, but I saw some plants getting taken out. Are these all clothing plants? Are these all cotton or some nonsense? No, they're food plants too. Okay. Come on. Oh, also, this reminds me. The barracks. This hasn't gotten touched yet. Smooth that. Thank you. I don't care which stockpile you use it for. Condense. <laughs> Taken by mood. I know what the issue is. I know what the issue is. I was trying to fix seeds earlier. I, I have an incorrect order out. Um, Set order. No mix. Mix food. That's the issue, isn't it? They don't want to mix different plants. I don't care at this point. Mix. Whatever. Claim is Shut up. He's not even moving. Idiot. All right. With mix on, will you condense? Please. Please condense. Somewhere condense. I saw someone grab a barrel. Where did he go? I'm seeing barrels in this stockpile. Oh, wrong. I don't see him doing anything with it. Okay, that barrel's filled already? I didn't see him fill it. But it looks like they are filling them. Condense better. It looks like they kind of are, actually. All right, I'm going to take from anywhere and delete selected. Come on. Condense better. I'm seeing open spots now. This is kind of working. Still have stones in the way too. Like for everything that's happening, this is still overloaded with stones. Why are you not taking from up there? You have open slots. We have open slots down here and stones up here. How does that make sense? 
All right, fine. What? What is it you want? Bones. 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 He wants bones. Get, which means I got to butcher an animal, and I haven't had anything really. You get bones if you butcher a kitten? How many cats do I have? Too many females. There you go. Butcher that. I'll be a bone. Condense the food. Get out of the acid. Condense the food. Please. Dude, I've been trying to make him unsad. She's the only one who is that sad. Like, he got better. That's 3,000 better. I don't know where he was before. I don't know if overall he's getting better or not. But 4,000 less Sag is good. I'm hoping what it is is just he had that many negative memories, so he's working through it now. I'm hoping. I'm also hoping that these plants compress. Please. Like, why is it only like one barrel at a time? Because it looks like that's kind of what's happening. Is like, I see like 10 squares empty at once. So are they only doing like one barrel at a time compression? Is this BOGO sort? Are we just gonna just mix the plants around with the barrel involved and maybe it'll pick up a plant? Come on. All right, kitchen got built, right? Render fat, I love you. Lavish meal, repeat, go. This kitchen, don't need you anymore, go away. Now, this stockpile is reduced to fruits and leaves, eggs, meat, and fish, but, but not unprepared fish. So it has some things to be cooking off of. I would prefer it to have been by the plants, but that's clearly a mistake. This is clearly an issue in and of itself. Also, we have a lot of fish to work through. By a lot, I mean 738. Dense. Oh, look, look, we have openings. <laughs> We're free. I, I see the light at the end of the tunnel. If only, you know, it would just go. Toasted Rimmam goes. The bone carver has created Duth Nergim, a cat bone shield. I don't know if that's good or not. She claims as an heirloom the name of the family ancestor, Kavish Chain Labors. Duth Nergum. <laughs> Sounds like Duth Nukem. Duke Nukem. Duth Nergum. Guard Twisted. A cat bone shield worth 4,440 dwarf bucks. This is a cat bone shield. It's really nice. It has spikes of cat bone. Made a necromancer shield. Yeah, but it's bone. Like, artifact itself can't be damaged, but doesn't sell the same base properties for piercing, meaning that that cat bone shield, it can still be pierced by good bolts. Am I crazy? Or is that just like an armor stat thing? Don't get me wrong. I'd rather it than nothing, and I'd rather it than a low quality, say, copper, but I'm worried that in major combat, it's going to fail us. Come on, compress better. You appear to be doing it kind of, but then not really. Because right now, I don't care which stockpile they compress in. As long as they compress, I'll transfer the barrels over after. Come on. And in Final Fantasy VIII, this shit, we need time compression on the plants. Uh, We have pots. Still not entirely sure the wood furnish belongs here. And we stopped on the craft store shop. That's important because you were supposed to have been a carpenter's. We need that build, workshop, carpenter. Something good. Academia woodblock. Looks nice. Shield material doesn't matter much, remember. That's right. We did go over this before. It, like, I'm seeing gaps, so it looks like they're compressing, but it's like so few at a time. Also, why is the stone not picked up? We have gaps down below. We have gaps in the stone stockpile. Looks like the bars 
the, the blocks, the bars, that compressed well. Because that's just gone. The seeds need more bags. Where's my um, clothiers? Make more bags, I guess. We still got to reduce it on the amount of plants so we don't have to worry about this many seed piles. We'll work on that later. The kitchen is now kind of mostly in its food, unless it's doing plants, in which case it's slightly closer. We will need some plants in there later. I got to separate it by food plant and clothing plant. Ah, and we're saving. I'm gonna take this opportunity real quick, chat, to bathroom for water. And looks like I can compress more when I was away than when I was here. All right. Since we do have some compression going on, I'm going to remove that. See what that's left us with. I wish the stone was moved out of there. I don't know why the stone's not getting done. I know why. You, mm, it's a new one. This one has a wheelbarrow somewhere. Zero wheelbarrows. They weren't like, they're all waiting for the one wheelbarrow. Just carry that stuff down, guys. I don't care. It'll take you a minute, but it gets it out of my way. Let's go. Yeah, look at it. Now everyone's hauling the stupid stones. And the look, look at this sheer amount of compression that has finally happened. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. All kinds of yes. All right. Clear that out and clear that. I think we now have enough space that it can all go into the plant pile. Also, what? is the benefit, I suppose. Um, I missed some push-ups. That one's on me. I had the thing out of the way. Admiral Wiley wants to know what his skills are. Don't you worry, Admiral Wiley. I got you. Are you the, are you the depressed? No, that's retired Navy vets, the repressed one. Not to be like, you have a skill at being depressed. Admiral Wiley, first of all, you have skill. No, no, the exact opposite. Admiral Wiley has the, the, like, the highest skill at not being depressed. Admiral Wiley takes all of his stress, he dumps on a retired Navy vet, and he just lives a chill day. Negative 99,997 stress. Admiral Wiley, you are an expert at mining, though you haven't done it in quite a while. You once looked at a stone, and a little bit you tried your hand at art, but you realized that, you know, an, an, an artist, an artist in the military tends to lead to bad things, so you stopped. Uh, you, you're relatively good at growing things. It's probably why you're not as stressed as anyone else in the map. And it's looking like that's literally all you do. You quit art, you grow things, and you kill people. You are a talented axeman. You are competent at wrestling. And your argument is always, why do I need to wrestle if I can just hit him with my axe? Apply axe, repeat until done. Uh, skilled at striking, which I don't know if that's part of your axe work or not. And you are adept at fighting. 
You've gotten some okay abilities at concentration, discipline, student. Why pay attention to the teacher or even dodge or wear armor if you just apply the ax hard enough, which is why you're really good at observing things. Because if you observe where the enemy is coming from, you can just yeet the ax where they're going and then you don't have to worry about the fight. And like everything else, every other social skill you are not good at, like at all. The only one that you kind of worked on was being a musician. There's gotta be something about that. I don't know anything about musician. Mom said it's my turn with the wheelbarrow, dude. The wheelbarrow system, like I like it, but I don't. Because like, obviously they go faster hauling it with the wheelbarrow, that's good. But if you're like one wheelbarrow, everyone else is like, well, I guess I might as well wait for the wheelbarrow. Everyone wants to be the one with the wheelbarrow. Like maybe if they had like a hauling slot separate from the wheelbarrow slot, that would help a lot. Has he brought that up? If you could set the slots for hauling on the like each individual stockpile, that could like really make things go smooth. All right, it looks like we got the plants finally out of the way. They do need a little more compression. I would like to just see rows of barrels and pots up there, but we don't have it everywhere else now, which is fantastic. Probably would now like some of the pots to come back. Cause like, look at this, it's an empty pot. We have, we have empty pots over here for some reason. Um, I'm gonna do another pot storage to see if we can't remove it out of that so we can see what the hell we're dealing with. It's not gonna work, is it? That's not how this works at all. We probably got like a lot of these just lying around. Cheese, meat. We got things for them to be cooking with, if nothing else. Muscle. You got it. Yeah, we got to get a lot of those. If I could separate this out by boost so I could see what was going on, that'd be nice. Um, you. What do you say is your dancing area? The Gilded Oat. The Gilded Oat says its biggest area is an eight by eight, which I assume is this, because I don't want to interrupt the dancing area. Are you the dancing area? Eight by eight, meaning any storage is fine as long as it avoids that square. So down here is good. So I'm going to create a food stockpile there, but should not interrupt the eight by eight. All you do is allow Hell, I'll allow drink animal too. All you do is allow drinks in the area, no prepared food. So I'm gonna do another one over here. This one is nothing but prepared food. And you take from there and you take from there. Bring the food into this area. And we should not have interrupted the dancing zone. Dancing zone is still an eight by eight area. Fantastic. That'll free up some slots in that area. Maybe we can start getting a better idea of what the hell's going on. And despite the mix, no mix thing, because this is just finished food and booze, we kind of know what's going on. Avocado roast. I love eating roasted avocado on a hole, like on one of those skewers where they spin, a human caravan has arrived. I don't care right now. And look, they've already filled it up with more stuff. More stuff. How? How have you already filled it up with more stuff? Probably booze. I feel like a lot of this is booze related. But we got stuff out, so now it's in the tavern. The tavern has booze, the tavern has food. The tavern should be doing good. We have 80 mugs in there, uh, 90 mugs and 80 people. We have more mugs than people. That tavern should be perfect now. That is tavern made perfect. By the way, is hell still around? No, don't don't ever don't ever assume that Enol's down and out. He's gotten more injured, but he's still going. Don't question Enol. <gasps> Wait a sec. I had an idea. If I take off selected. Will it show everyone? I don't know how syndromes works. Hold on. It's a gigantic list, right? But it's only the, it, the creatures on my map. Can I see anyone affected by him? Hold on. DF hack show syndromes. Not, I'm not really that proficient with this list. Control F syndrome, show unit syndromes. Show units, even if not affected. I don't want that. I can say show effects, that is on, I like that. 
I don't care about display effects, the, the livestock. Wild animals. Can I say wild animals and see if that works? I don't want to find syndromes in the world. Wild animals. No wild animals have a syndrome. What? Hostiles. No hostiles have any syndrome. He kills everything he infects. How are you supposed to tell? If I switch this to dwarves, are we just gonna see dr drunk? Dwarves. <laughs> inebriation, inebriation, ine Who could have seen this coming? Inebriation, inebriation, inebriation. I just say unknown. Inebriation, all right. Th that was just a joke one. We knew that's what I was gonna do. But literally no one in this thing is sick at all. Ah. All right, whatever. It was worth a try. No one has encountered that thing and lived at all to tell us what his syndrome does. Ah, good idea. Build construction floor. I like your idea. I need something fast. We'll do siltstone. And I'll just tear it back up. Now, I believe we already marked a bunch of things for trade automatically. Good. Let's get that garbage out of here. We need more shell crafts. Not that I actually want to make a profit off the shell crafts. I just want them out of my damn base. Um, oh, look. Look at the plants finely compressed. Why is no one taking this stone? Because you're filled. Jesus. Surprised that. What are you doing? Siltstone blocks still schist crafts. We're trying, boss. We're trying. All right. Has everything been brought over? Is that a finish good or is that? Yeah, that's a bin. I'll wait for that last bin to get brought in. Is that bin just this? Is this the bin? Oh, there's, there's, there's stuff in there. Okay, yeah, you bring that bin in. All right, let's get this trade on so we can have it said to have been done. All right, we have excess pots. That's kind of been sorted. Our food count is climbing because she doesn't have to go anywhere except for plants. Huzzah. Kitchen, if I go over here, can I search for tallow again? All right, still not cooking the tallow. They probably cooked with the other tallow, though. I got to catch tallow right as they render it. If we look at seeds, we said that they can cook. What is this? Maize. Yeah, I don't like maize. We got to lower this down to like eight plants so I don't have to deal with that many seeds. Am I going to ever use sweet pot? Like there's, I don't think so. Sweet pot syrup and stuff. So I know it's a classic, but I'm not going to deal with it. So we might as well cook their seeds away. Uh, I need to figure out like what I'm actually using. Longland grass is beer. I don't think I'm going to be planting with longland grass, at least not right now. But I don't know. The rest of these can kind of live for now. But yeah, we're not using sweet pods. I know that. What are you? Why have I decided not? Yeah, whatever you are. You're, we're cooking. You're not brewing you. Bloated tubers. I said that's for booze, apparently. Whatever. Okay, so this has kind of been sorted now. We, we good? We good on things. We need more drinks. He's got the plants near him. Clothier shop. I don't think you need to be here. Clothier shop works off of cloth not plants. So I think I was confused earlier. Should not have put you there. You can go away. When I've gotten rid of him, this kitchen needs cooking to go away. It is going away. When I've gotten rid of the clothiers, I can move in something. Yeah. We just need the farmers to process the plants. He's doing cloth. Clothiers and stuff will be in the sub the subfloor for now. 
Build workshop clothiers. T wood logs. We'll put the loom down here. I don't think I need it, but we'll put the loom down there. So that's where the clothing is. Because this is everything. This is silk, this is cloth, whatever. You, that's apparently all the leather we have. So I'm gonna take you out. I'm gonna put a finished goods pile here. This isn't necessarily the greatest thing, but we'll do this to see what we have laying around. We're gonna take off artifacts and I'm gonna take off all the trade goods and the armor. Figurines on down. Handwear, headwear, footwear, armor. Legwear. This should include codices, and I think this will get the the paper. I'll take off goblets too. Let goblets figure out its own thing. Let's see what ends up getting brought down here. Cause I think I have weird excess items laying around, particularly at the trade depot. Now at the trade depot, everything is equivalent to 86,000. That means no artifacts. Or at least if there is one, it's super cheap, so I don't care. These are humans. What did I do? I hit C's, I didn't hit Q. Um, silver. I'll take bolts, even if they're not that good. Ammo is ammo. I don't want a silver wheelbarrow. I'm not a crazy man. Why does he never bring whips? Why do you hate me? The humans are not being good today. No whips. These humans don't know what their own strength is, apparently. You have good, good, good animals. You have a ram and you have a cat. You have a cow. You have a hen. Do I have a rooster? I'll take your hen. You're making it really hard to get rid of crap. I'm just saying. 83,000 for what I'm getting from you seems kind of steep. I'm not gonna lie, humans. I'm not gonna lie. You're kind of making me uh, lose faith in humanity. This is all you brought. Why is this all you brought? Why are you bad? Do you have gypsum? You don't even have gypsum. Okay. These humans are just dumb. Oh yeah, I want a snail in the cage. That'd be great. Can't wait for that snail in the cage. I don't need more cloth. I'll get more leather. Like I'm not, I don't have a good leather industry right now, so I might as well trade for human leather, right? There you go, leather bins. Uh, I don't need backpacks. I don't need thread. I don't need silk. I don't need your plants. I don't need your fish. Humans have nothing good, do they? Bolt. Bronze, copper, bronze, bronze. I want to get rid of my stuff, but I'm not giving you 80,000 for five. You got your damn mind. You can keep the cheap one. 42 for five, that's still too high a profit. 27 for five. One for five. Eight thousand for five. You're making a one thousand profit. What do you say? Of course they like it. All right, one more trade, just as a thing of goodwill. Where's one of those five thousand bins? So it counts as an actual offering. I know I saw five thousand bin. Where is it? You. There we go. I click this bin and we'll offer this. There you go. Peace between humans and dwarves. I've asked the trader not to be needed. We're good. All right, back down below. I think I switched this to finished goods. I don't think finished goods pile. We have three that I'm aware of. This one's up top. That's the finished goods pile. That's the finished goods pile. And I just made a third. Meaning, what is parchment? 
This is what's throwing, throwing me off. Parchment's getting stored somewhere and it's not where I think it is. Because no one's even bothering to haul the damn parchment. We have idlers. Okay. Parchment's under something weird. Is there one for just parchment? Is, oh, it's sheets. That's what I'm messing up. Are you parchment? There we go. Bring the paper down, please. Yeah, I sheets are their own category. That's weird. That, why was that not a finished good? How is a sheet of all things not a finished good? Is that like the definition of finished good? A sheet? Because their sheets include cloth and stuff too. That, that, that's the textile revolution is getting cloth into a sheet. Like that is the definition of industrialization is it starts with sheets. How is that not a finished good? We'll need some more bins to sort it out, but whatever. Yeah, I need to get the library set up, but yeah. The library can probably be right here. I don't see why this couldn't be a library. Um, what I should do though is where, hold on. I don't know, I don't wanna screw this up and get myself killed. All right, I can't, my entire base is dependent upon that tree not dying. <laughs> okay, never cut down that one tree. This is important to know because I very nearly killed that one tree. Um, all right. And I don't know if that tree somehow helps that tree. I can't touch anything over there. I was gonna say, I should have this more like trimmed so I can make a better idea of what I'm dealing with. Cause this is supposed to look less like a cave and more like, you know, something I'm just working with. Trim that out. This won't mess with the tree. Trim that out. I'm thinking this will be where the library is right here. Underneath the upper area that people can be on. Cancel's plant needs cotton seeds. We've got it somewhere. I know we do. Calm down. One way or another, we've got those cotton seeds. This is the one I'm really worried about to the west. Like I gotta do something over there to really secure that. Cause we're stuck on a tree. Like trees can burn. If literally, if one forgotten bee spawns with fire and it happens to breathe on a crundle over there, we all die. We are one crundle away from death. <laughs> we are dependent upon the game to not crundle us. How big are you? 14 by 14. And your hallway is not in the middle. Get rid of that. Because seven is there. So that's the middle. Actually, that, you are kind of in the middle. Hmm, how about that? Which means I'm going to put your entry here. Which means I'm going to trim that up so it's even. Which means I don't need that. That'll work. That'll be where the library is. The great library of Solomon with all of the knowledges of the dwarves about how to brew beer and wine and mead and rum and vodka. Yes, all the great knowledges. Yeah. We're definitely super safe. Don't worry about it. Everything up here looks good. Now, this was a clothing? I think I tried doing this to just store clothing or something crazy. Armor, footwear, headwear, handwear. I'm going to get rid of that for right now. Storing clothing up there just does not seem like a good idea to me. Finished goods being by finished goods makes sense. Now, the armor. 
Weapons. Armor. No bins. This bins cause glitches when it comes to the military. And then I'll see what that does and then I'll get rid of this one over here. Do, 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 do. Look at all these stupid shells. Actually, no, no, we're getting non-shells. We have gaps. We have gaps in the hole. Oh my God. Are we done with the undone food stuffs? I think the fishery is finally empty. No, the fishery is still filled with tons of shells. They just haven't hauled it. We nearly freed ourselves of the shelled menace. All right. This is still going on. Yeah, you guys can leave. I'm not that worried. Holy gaps? It was, but I gotta, I gotta handle them a different way. That thing wasn't entirely working anyways. I, if you recall, it, it wasn't, like it was getting fresh ones too. Like it was supposed to, but it wasn't. We need more bins. We're getting too much cloth. Problem is, is you can't process, okay, I'm gonna stop processing plants. You can't order plants to be processed individually like what if i said one one plant to be processed conditions daily just one we'll slow it down a little bit so we got tons of thread right now tons of that one plant going through we don't need that plant especially considering we're supposed to have four different farms doing this. We're going to end up with way too much. Two items for trade. All right. How is the stone clearing out? This is our big thing still, is this stone. Silk stone block, schist crafts. Surrounded by slate now. How many stones do we have? If I go look at stocks, will this game cry at me when I look at stones? No, we only have about 507. We're doing good. Silt stone's almost out of the damn way. 39 of those and schist is 60. Our big hang up right now is still slate and we have some excess clay. That's good. It's a good thing. Um, who is still up here? Clothiers, you don't need to be here anymore. You are free. Loom, you don't need to be here anymore. You are free. Fishery. Uh, I'll get rid of you. I don't think we have any more fish to deal with. And I don't think this food pile needs to exist anymore. I think I've gotten rid of almost everything up here. We just have these craft stores by the refuse, which I can't deal with yet. And we have one above ground farm doing passion fruit. I don't think we have any any of. I think somehow passion fruit has disappeared off of our face. We have... No, you are our single strongest farm. What's the farm downstairs doing? Hold on, what are you? Cotton and rat weed. Okay, the other farm. Yeah, okay, I don't need passion fruit anymore. One way or another, we're good. I do not need the above ground farm. Fantastic. That's a lot of passion fruit. Because as we convert the passion fruit to booze, we can't have more than 200 seeds. So in a way, doing this will like restrict what we have going on for passion fruit. Later on, if we want to restore it, we can, but right now we don't need to. I think this farm is gone. It is. Other than those two crafts handling some of our light work, we're good. This is just some above ground stuff that we're dealing with. Farmer, butcher, tanner, leather. Yep. All right. One way or another, everything's below ground. Everything that can be easily right now below ground is below ground. We can work with this. We're doing good. I still wanna get rid of this damn jeweler shop. This kitchen, I've told you to go away. Why is no one killing the kitchen? We don't have cooks. Something has happened to our cooks. Hold on. We have too many people for doing different things. 
Because our kitchen staff is everyone. And we have one. We have one cook. Who is making the booze? Are you the only one making booze? We have people making booze who aren't even supposed to be making booze. All right, you. I don't know how we haven't died by now. Um, you are kitchen staff. Only booze. Commit. Now, there's another gentleman, a stone worker. Not, not a stone worker. We had a miner. I don't want to take him off of it, but he appears to be our number one booze guy, which is really weird. So if we sort by, it's a weird one. Cast, that's sorting by dwarves. That's everyone, it's a non-sort. Non Could just say nothing, I just realized that. Sort by brewing. Humanity is a medic. I have clearly made a mistake. Zakthos is a green thumb. We need him planting. Metalworkers Guild, we're gonna need him. Kitchen staff, he's already doing what he can. Enlisted. Leather worker. All right, that's everyone with skill. If we go to rolls and look at this, open up dwarves, who makes good brewers? Humanity, of course he does. Kitchen staff, axeman, enlisted, stone crafter. Oh, he's the one making our stone crafts. He's not a stone crafter, he's maximum at that. He is a, uh, He's not an apprentice craftsman, he's a master stone. There's no reason to take him off. Enlisted, 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 fisherman. You know what, you've been needing this for a while. There you go, you have a job again. You are a kitchen worker, you're not doing cooking. Commit that through. So now we have like three people to do brewing. Go to cook. We've had one poor dude cooking. Stone worker, you're staying with it, green thumb. Enlisted, Woodworkers Guild. You are a carpenter, but we've got like plenty of people to be carpenter. I'm not that worried. You are kitchen. Where's K? Kitchen staff, not brewing, so don't worry. This gentleman, Master Stone, Engraver, Medic. Come on, give me a job I can kick someone out of, please. Tavern Keeper. Metalworkers Guild, Engraver, Kitchen Staff, Metalworkers Guild, Stoneworkers Union. You're fired. TCG Kill a Fool. You are my other cook. There we go. Commit that through. Back to profession. Because the thing is, we ha I haven't sorted these people out in forever. It's kind of a big issue right now. Um. Hellfire, what do you mean Axeman? What does that even mean? Oh, you're the commander and I never gave you a job. You're just an Axeman. You're, t you're not even like, you're level seven, you're enlisted. Were you a lie maker at some point? Why were you doing anything? How is the commander not in the enlisted? That doesn't make sense. All right, you say Bone Carver. Are you though? No, oh, no, you are. All right, Master Bone, you are. Congratulations. Master Bone, I will not question you again. Um, 21 people have been engravers because of the Engravers Guild. Look at this. They're not even active. This dude got let Spider Venom is a legendary detailer because he does so many engraving night classes. This dude is like a PhD in stone engraving and that's not even his job. That's just what he does to pass the time. I don't even know what his job was. Are you in the military? No, he's not in the military. What are you, so I, okay. We need to sort this out. Too many damn people are supposedly engravers because they attend night classes. Spider Venom, you're definitely an engraver. I'm not changing that, but I have names for them. every engraver, by the way, let's be clear about this. Everyone who's an engraver is not one of the ones I did because my names for engraver is they're under the Stoneworkers Union because they're also supposed to be masons. So I'm taking off carpentry, animal care, and leather working so that you can actually be in the correct thing. If you're legendary in engraving, you get to stay as a Stoneworkers. Uh, Noodler, congratulations. Stoneworkers Union, not changing that. 
The rest of you are not fucking engravers. You're lying to me. How many people are in the Stoneworkers Union? Four. I'm gonna leave them there, but you might get some people if they're really good at masonry. All right, is anyone good at masonry? How are you enlisted with masonry back on? Mr. Man, you're going back to enlisted. I don't know why I switched them on for you. Oh, because you wanted to make your own statue. I forgot to undo that. There you go. You've made your own statue. Congratulations. Excavator. We need people at this role too. All right, hold on. Leather worker is what? The butcher's guild? I should have been sorting these people out a while ago. Um, what did I call the butcher's guild? Not Beastmaster. Meat packers? Yeah, butcher's guild and meat pack meat packers. Mason. Stoneworkers Union. Congratulations. Commit that through. Okay, Master Stone, Master Bone, Management. I'm not changing management. Mechanic. No such thing. You're not a mechanic. You are a engineer. You might be Metal Workers Guild, dude. You're like the only one I have for that. That does them all. Why are you lying to me? Metal Workers Guild. All right, collapse. I want him to always be collapsed. Herbalist. Plant gathering. Is that your actual job? That sounds like one of mine. No, I call you green thumbs. No, I don't. Who does plant gathering? Um, clear his changes. Holler. This is what everyone should be. If there's something. Hunter, I'm leaving Yoshi alone. Everyone said they were engravers. And you're good at it. Don't get me wrong. I don't want any of you to get confused. But you're not engravers. Venom Delta. You're in the Metal Workers Guild. I don't know why you're lying. Shunt everything. Didn't I just put a bunch of you to engraving? Uh, to hauling? I just I just did that. All of you are haulers right now. So I at least have an idea of what I'm dealing with. Okay. We need excavators. There's no one who's a fisherman. No. You're fired. You're a hauler. You guys will get re-divvied re out in a minute. Hollers, hollers everyone. Clear you all through. So we only have one green thumb. We only have one person who's legitimately a, a planter. That needs to be fixed. How have we not died by now? How have I, like, we don't have people assigned to jobs correctly. How have we not died? Three miners, there you guys are. You're just not called correctly. You're excavators. We got lucky with you. Um, four medics, seven in the Metal Workers Guild, two stone workers that aren't in the Stone Workers Union. All right. So we don't need anyone else in the Stoneworkers Union. We got seven people in there. They're fine. Thresher is in the Weaver's Guild. Yep. Weaver is in the Weaver's Guild. I made all that through. All right. Collapse again. See, look at this. Now we're getting a better idea of what the hell we're dealing with. Seven in the metal workers, seven in the stone workers, one tavern keeper, four in the weavers, one meat packer. We're probably gonna need more of that. Master stone, master bone, management, five kitchen staff now, three for food, two for brewing. We might have a slight slowdown on brewing, but I feel like we'll be good there. Hunter isn't a thing, you're a ranger. Herbalist, I feel like you're called wrong. What do I call green thumbs who are for plants? Plant gatherer? I don't think I have an herbalist. But I, I do need someone to be an emergency plant gatherer. So I'll leave you on for farming, but turn plant gathering back on. 22 haulers, two green thumbs, one gym setter. We need a jeweler's guild. Someone else was doing it earlier, but now you're doing all of it. Four dedicated excavators, seven enlisted. Commit that through. There we go. Now we at least have jobs that make sense. <sighs> what is missing? We have tavern keeper apparently isn't correct. He just happens to be a tavern keeper. He's a bowyer. He does stone. If I leave him, ah, fuck. 
I gotta leave him with stone detailing so that he can occasionally do it and not freak out. But he doesn't need Bo Yuri. Commit that through, and I think I call Tavern Keeper something else, don't I? I thought I had some other name for Tavern Keepers. We don't have any Lumberjacks, I've just realized. Guess I didn't have another name for them. Okay, now, under Haulers, some of you are pretty okay at stone crafting. You two can be apprentice craftsmen. Ta-da! If you want that on, I can turn that on as well. Cool. Commit you through. All right, of them, no, 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 back to Haulers. That was stone crafting. Where do you use the other crafting? Bone carving. None of you are that good at bone carving, so that's not going through. Wood crafting. None of you do that? Yeah, okay, so that's all the apprentice craft dwarfs handled. Cool. Am I missing something else, chat? We have two kitchens, that's supposed to be that way. Wood burning green thumb. No. Why are you saying something up there? There we go. No wood burning green thumbs. Now, we do need wood burners and we need more in the metalworking guild. No, we don't, they're fine. Um, I will probably split up their jobs later, but one way or another, they're fine in that group. We just don't have any wood burners. So back to haulers, we're nearly out of this chat. Just be a little patient. Wood burning. None of you are good at this? Rolls. Why? Why is everyone cursed? You are my two great people for wood burning. All right. I don't call them wood burning? I thought I did. I feel like I'm losing half my mind. Weavers, train, Swiss. Stone workers, hauler. Some of them need to be turned to stone haulers depending upon how strong they are. Ranger, on vacation, officer, metal workers, guild, medic, meat, master wood, master, master. Um, oh, we need two We need two or three lumberjacks. Kitchen staff. Deep excavator. I thought I had people for wood burning guild. I've lost wood burning. You know what it is? You are part of the Metal Workers Guild, and then I put on wood burning because you're part of the same guild. That's what it is. Commit that through. All right. And then the last thing I just said is I need people for the lumberjacks. So you three are lumberjacks. Thank you for following. There you go. We'll sort that through and see if I've just screwed over everyone. Thank you so much. There's a leather worker saw, so I'd not want to be in the butcher's guild. They don't correlate to the same. Those are my custom professions, so I can sort out who's doing what. I, I don't even do my hauls to their guilds. When I do my hauls, I change them all to just say um, local citizens. Also, Rot Tixer, thank you so much for following. Who does soapy soapy time? That'd be the soap makers. We will need them, their guild reestablished later. Right now, we don't, it's not necessary. And the lumberjacks have been created as well. Yeah, we now have three lumberjacks. One of them is meditating on what it means to be pregnant. All right, and we have a bunch of people to just do hauling. Hopefully they'll sort them out. If we go back down below, we need to make this a nice library. And I'm going to need at least six doors. So four for you. One, two, three, four. Table, 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 table. Let that go through. Um, what do we have? Quartzite, schist, siltstone, slate. You know what? Start using slate. You know what? Get rid of everything I just said. 
We have a manager for this. JMQ, Door, Rock, Six, Details, Slate, Q, Table, Rock. It's 14 by 14, wasn't it? 14, Details, Slate, cough, uh, Chairs, Thrones. 14 details slight now I'll get it downstairs I sent my team out for an artifact we'll see what happens bad things bad things can only happen that is the way of the world all right the stone is not clearing out up there we have now made caps lock is on I've now made people to do these things. I'm going to have to start changing the rooms around later. This also reminds me, how are their bedrooms down here doing? Did I build any more cabinets? One, two, three. Three cabinets. And the cabinets are made out of quartzite, if I remember correctly. Enough. Yeah, we're going to do those bookcases in a minute. Um, I'm wanting to put in the chairs, though. Like, the, the tables and chairs, so I can sort of what I'm going to do. Because my thought is, whole back wall, tables and chairs, a gap, a couple of rows vertically of bookshelves. Back to back? I don't think that, I don't think it works that way. But back to back, that would be what would look nice. And then on the front wall, you have chairs, you have tables and chairs, and in the exact middle, because it is 14, you also have a series of tables and on either side you have chairs. So we'd have less bookshelves and chairs and stuff, but I thought it'd look nice. I also need to get down there and like engrave once it's smooth, because we need it to look nice. And what I want to be like, look at our fantastical library. Doesn't it make you feel amazeballs? And everyone else can be like, yes, I feel amazeballs due to this library. This is the most amazeballingest library I've ever seen. And then they'll all be happy. I just remembered, probably should have had a thing there to get more wood. That's the idea. This takes from this one. That's just the one to bring them to. And this only takes from there. Now up here, we have a farmer's for plant working. We have a still. I feel like I need one more. There's another workshop I'm forgetting. Might be the kitchen, but for that to work, we need other things up here too. So I need to condense the plants and then put in other unprocessed food for the kitchen to work. If that is true, if that is what we are doing, the farmers needs to be moved over. Build workshop farmers. And then we move the kitchen all the way over here when I free up a bunch of this to be non-plant foods. Which means, assuming we are doing that, I need to start condensing them. <laughs> Squish over. Let them do it piecemeal so I can see what I have for capacity. do 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 all right, squish over again. Squish over. I don't want to fill it. I don't want to do it till it's filled, but I want to like try to make it about 50-50. Later on, we can worry about other foodstuffs. It actually compressed a lot better than I thought it would. Wilmore? Wilmar Boots has been taken by a mood. We'll see in a second if he claims anything. And I want to go to this. So one last, and then I'll put a food one in here. And this food must lose that, first of all. This food loses unprepared fish, doesn't get drinks, doesn't get seeds, doesn't get plants. The plants should also be getting fruit leaves, but whatever, I'll leave that alone separately. It can get fat because we're going to need that. It will not get paste. It will not get pressed material. It will not get extracts of any kind. It will not get miscellaneous liquids. It gets meat, processed fish, eggs, cheese, fruit, 
milled plants and fat, and it does not get prepared food. Now you have been built, right? So I get rid of the old farmer's workshop. Boom. Then this one says it does not get meat, fish, eggs. I gotta leave drinks there for now. It does not get cheese, it does not get fruit. It does not get milled plants. I don't think anything should be getting any of this nonsense. We'll turn off paste, cake, oil, and venom. I need someone to do lie. So I'll leave that alone for now. And let's see it transfer everything over. Train the metalsmith's forge. I'm surprised. What did you, what the hell was that? That was pink. Oh, rose gold. I did trade for some rose gold. Uh, that's gonna be heavy, isn't it? Rose gold, really? All right. They're doing this thing again where they hate me and they forget what a pot is. That's gonna be fun. All right, build workshop kitchen over here now. No, 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 no. Kitchen's got build workshop kitchen. It's gotta, it's gotta be made of something nice. Something nice and dwarvy. Uh, iron bars. No! You cook with copper pans. I just thought of that. It's gotta be a copper kitchen so that it's a non-stick surface. That's how it's clean. My library doesn't work. I have paper. <laughs> what? Nice and dwarvy. Nice. No. Copper. Nice is how you get Teflon and Teflon is how you kill yourself. Copper is the way to go. All right, you can use pots though again. Please, please remember what a pot is. I don't wanna to have to do a massive stockpile just so you can have things to figure out how to compress food again. Come on, someone bring a pot in. Someone bring a pot in. I am begging dwarves to use pot. There we go. They had to compress it, right? Where's the barrel? I just saw like 10 of them disappear for no reason. Oh, because the kitchen's still making things. Good job, kitchen. Uh, what are you? Furniture stockpile, P. All right, I'm just gonna do a massive, I'm gonna do a massive one real quick of this. Will they pull an excess large pot out of storage if it's over here? So I can see what I'm actually dealing with. Like it looks like they're compressing it. I just don't know where it's all going. And if the kitchen's built, I'll say lavish meal over here instead. It is. Lavish meal on repeat. You do not need to exist anymore. See, like they're all missing now. Where did they go? Where did they go? Are you storing them here? It looked like he just walked over into this and it disappeared. I have somehow lost all my food now and I do not know how or why. And now no one's idling. What? Wait, did they really compress it all down to four barrels? What about everything else? What about the meat? The billions of plants? That is plants. I think we need more meat then. If that's what everything else came down to. I thought there was more to it than that. So you are all finished goods. You're 1,200 finished goods. No, you're booze. I'm an idiot. There's a lot of booze, though. Okay. Well, I'm going to do one over here. I was gonna try to restore this space. So I'm gonna leave that alone for now, actually. One, because it kind of looks appropriate. Two, because I think I might want to put a different workshop in there later. All right, so that brings me down to the seeds. This is where I should probably be processing it, but this is where the plants are. Shouldn't have these on two opposite sides, whatever. 
Just send him on a quest he doesn't come back from. Build the tables in the back. They are supposed to be made to say, where did I get a granite one from? What was I using granite table for? Well, there, I did have excess pots lying around apparently. I don't know where they came from, but okay. You are all booze? This booze just not Oh, because they're not mixing them together correctly. Some of them are, like, only filled with three booze. Mix them together, guys. Come on. Make it be a, a, a hobo stew or some shit. Whatever that's called when you mix it all together. Um, gems. Gems are good. So, we're mostly good. My one big hang-up, I'm doing a library now, as usual, is stuck on stone. Stuck on you guys clearing out the stone. He's making on that now. I could work on a few mechanisms, but I don't have a good place to store them right now. And he's he's making crafts. So yeah, I guess we're just stuck waiting. You have plaster bags and bolts. So I have failed to get the ammo. Which means... No weapons, no armor. This needs to be emptied. And then turned into an ammo pile. With no bins. That'll help for a little bit. Get those where they need to be, too. That still leaves the gypsum plaster, which... None of my stockpiles are handling gypsum? Or are you? What is plaster? Is it not a finished good? No, I guess not. You're not a furniture, are you? Nope. I don't remember where plaster is stored. It's a bag. Gypsum's a weird one, isn't it? No, I'm serious. Like, isn't it, like, actually weird? It's under some goofy, goofy thing it should not be under. No stockpile exists for controlling the storage of gypsum plaster, though it is listed under stone clay for material blocks and finished goods. These things have no effect because such objects are never actually made of gypsum. Blah, 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 blah. Gypsum plaster bags are always stockpiled in the furniture seed animal category as boxes and bags, as though they were empty. If you only have a small amount, less than 15 bags, simply just tell your hospital to store 15,000. If you have more than 15 bags, we make a, and it, yeah, there's a weird way to tell them how to do this. Okay, that's obnoxious. But yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll just up hospitals. I have the pushes. Pushes have been requested. I deliver as requested by chat. Sure. There you go. Yes, 15,000 apparently. Completed, completed. Is it 1,500 or 15,000?
Looks like I closed the page, so I don't know. Is my dude still down there? Yo, Enola's too strong. How are you still going, you creepy frog? I almost want to sacrifice her army just to see what the hell his blood does. We do not question the might of Enol. Long may he reign. It's that sub base soft. No, that's not the one doing it. Is it? Let me see it play it again. It won't play when I'm looking. I hear it, but I don't see it. So what's, it is that channel. Oh, no, that's the womb noise. Why doesn't it show what song that is? Yeah, sub bass sauce is soft. It's just going boom. That's not that music. What is that music? Why? Why are you playing that music without giving me a reason or an ability to shut it down? It'll end eventually. It's always, an, it's just obnoxious though. Okay. You have been set up so far. Slate. Slate. Why does it always go back to granite? Fifteen, and we'll make the bookshelves out of quartzite. Now this, boom, meeting area, assigned location, new location, library, the bastion of chambers. There you go. Not scholars or scribes yet, but now there is a library. So people who want to go to the library can be like, I was there. <laughs> I learned about how libraries do. And the library needs boxes and bags to bring things in. So I think down here, quartzite coffer, because I don't remember what this is for. Quartzite coffer, here we go. Whatever they need, maybe they can bring it in. Still need to get the stone out of the way elsewhere. All right. Also, also. Didn't I? Here. Oh, it just covered it. It just blended in, so you don't see it anymore at all. Okay, never mind. I'll leave that floor alone. For some reason, I thought it was going to look different, like it was a, a paved floor or something like that. All right, I'm getting close. Hey, traders. Why? Why is this the route you've taken? <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? Do I have to cut down every tree within the outer six squares? What is wrong with you? All right, what do we want of the dwarves? 
I want codices. I want books. How do I tell them I want books? I don't want any of this. I'm I'm really good on everything right now. I want books. Bringeth upon me steel and books. Please and thank you. And bolts. There's bolts. There's steel. I want books. <laughs> And they can't ask for codices individually because each one's kind of weird, but I just, you know, generally I want codices. Bring me copies. All right, what? What do you want? All right, what do they want from me? Mace is not happening. Thread. I can trade you some thread. I, I happen to have a surplus of thread. Musical instruments, not happening. Toys, legwear, plants. I could try to trade you some plants I don't think I'll need. That could limit what I've got. Quivers, headwear, goblets, football. Okay, so... Thread. Thread is what I got maybe a plant or two. So much. Wait, why are you getting the quartzite bookcases? No! This is why we're having issues. What are you doing? No, nothing up here. No orders. Don't, don't, don't do that. No. These two are doing what they need to do. Don't ask them to do quartzite bookcases. Do that downstairs where the quartzite is. At at that craft store shop. What, like this one. There you go. You figured it out. Good job. Weirdos. Shitty novelty shell figurines. <laughs> no. They need this. They need the figurines. They just don't know what they just don't know how badly they need it. I know what they need better than they do. Oh! Someone finally had babies. Rod Tixer? Welcome to the mountain home. Hold on. Has nickname. Claps. Two. Weaver's Guild. I got you doing our clothes. Rod Tixer the first. Boom. Which means right now you are somewhere between here and here, depending. Is this stuff still going through, I believe? Unused plant cloth. Can we just have a ton of plant cloth? Where did all the plant cloth go? Cotton thread. It's not being turned into cloth. We have cloth. I can't give away the thread now. Um, workshop profile. Weave thread into cloth 10 times if the condition of the plant thread is 30. No, screw that. That's a stupid check. We don't need that. Condition of the product is less than 50. We have less than 50 cloth, make more cloth. If we have more than 50, let it be a thread. Go. Wait, hold on. That said no? Did I read that right? The amount of available cloth is less than 50. That's not right. How come the other thing's saying we don't have cloth? Something has gone horribly wrong here. This says we need at least 10 unused, oh, unused plant cloth. That's the issue, unused. Uh, Where is your trait? That's not how you say unused. Why do you say unused? Item condition? Is that not doable? Why are you cloth? The other one's unused cloth. Is this a material sort of thing? Hmm. How have I made this work before? I'm trying to remember. I feel like I did this on, on the College of Dwarfology video, and now I can't remember how I did it. Order a condition. Wouldn't it be... Hmm. Item type. 
unused. Cloth? All right, uh, how about this? I don't care. Just just go ham then. This is being weird. I feel like I've, I've solved this issue before, but I cannot remember it right now. Delete. Just just go just go on repeat. Fuck it. There's a discrepancy right now in my game between the, the loom and the other one. And the loom says we have thousands of cloth or whatever, and the other one's like we have no cloth. And that's because one says unused and the other one doesn't. So whatever. <laughs> I'll work hard. Thank you. As soon as we figure out what is or is not a cloth, we'll, we'll be sure to put you to good work. All right, what do I have? 114,000. Are we trading an artifact again? 14, eight, seven, 17. I guess we just have that much artifacts. 15, not artifacts, um, decent, decent crafts. Nine, 12. We got too much shit. Um, first of all, give me steel. As usual, give me some toys for the kids. I don't think I care at this point. We got too much shit going on. Bunch of short swords. Give me another pick. Give me a short sword. Give me a war hammer. Uh, give me all of this. Give me a crossbow. Wh whatever. Pick, spear, pick, mace. Gotta love me some high boots. No one likes a low boot. Uh, I don't think we need those shields. Get some good armor up in there. Yeah, get some more anvils. Get some greaves and chain leggings. At least they finally brought some steel with. Can't believe we did all that and we're still good. All right, copy, copy. Why are you not bringing me anything with the word copy? You are killing me. Why are they never bringing books anymore? That's so many streams where they just bring like endless amounts of books and then they won't bring a single book. It is the biggest pain in my ass. Um, do you have meat? I think I got plenty of meat, but let's 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 get a bunch of meat. I might as well. We can turn it into food. I don't want your gems. I will take your bolts though. Uh, I already got your bars. I don't need any more gems. I don't need ropes. I got crafting kind of on the the handled. You know what? Water skins. That's always good in the military. Let's have a bunch of water skins. I don't worry about that anymore. Um, is this a weapon? Uh, not a weapon, an instrument. Yes. We'll get instruments named after that one monster that's killing everyone down below. That will clearly sate him. All the instruments. Okay. You have turkeys. Only males. Why do you hate me? Male, male, dog, llama. Go rabbit, you cat, guinea pig. Goose. Do we have a goose? I don't know what we have. Drake, KV boar, KV sow. <sighs> sow is a pig. Now I need a just a boar, not a cavey boar, a boar. I think I might have some, but I don't think really think I do. Boar, just cavey boars. All right. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm not trading them all of this because that would be crazy. I'm gonna untrade two of this. Do that for trade. They're happy. Wrong button. Then I'm gonna grab that finished good box. And this finished good box and just offer that. There you go. Now I don't have any of that and they should be happy with us. I'm surprised that we haven't qualified for nobility yet. Not that I really want it. I feel like we're gonna get screwed if I do that, but I haven't qualified. Is there a limit around 80? Yeah, whatever. Should be on my, I had turned it off at some point. It's just, it's being weird. Cause what I wanted there to do is make sure that I had thread at least. 
So like everything else, I turned it off and now it's causing an issue because of course it is. No, I have it auto loom on died. I'm not dying it, but I wanted to make sure that we had some thread left and it's just, it's just being stupid about it. All right, build table. Slate, 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 chair, slate. And now have I gotten a bookcase? We have. So I know in here's gonna be tables and chairs, space, bookcase. This is where a bookcase would be. So middle is a table, chair, space, bookcase. And then it would be bookcase. See, I, I can't do the sidewalls with that then. But it'll be fine. So now we have tables, we have chairs, we have bookcases, we have chests. I think they brought the parchment in because of that. Good. If I look at the bashing of chambers, it says that we have eight bookcases and we have nothing to scribe because I've yet to find a book. I need writing material. I forgot what writing material is. It's like a pen or something, right? I'll find a way to make that in a minute. They can have them scribe new ones, I guess. All right. The pots, we have too much of. But that's to be, you know, expected because of how much I was freaking out trying to get more pots when nothing was getting done with the plants. So now it looks like I have to deal with the consequences of my own actions. I still want to move the jeweler out of here. He's still just like the one irky thing that should not be. Did did you start? When did you do? Bar, block, bone, gym, gym. Bone, gym, 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 bone. He either wants another gym or he wants a bone. I'm gonna assume it's a bone because we got plenty of rough gems. So we are killing something today. Apparently the reindeer have started breeding. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, search by cat. I'm not sure I trust you. Two male cats, one female cat. Oh wait, no, no. We have multiple female cats. Butcher. What? Oh, he just went crazy. Fantastic. Want to buy adamantium thread beer coaster? You're not gonna get an adamantium beer coaster. What would be the point of an adamantium, not even adamantium, an adamantium thread, meaning it's a cloth coaster. You wanna buy and you want to buy, that's gotta hurt. Like I would assume that just having a regular coaster, because you know it's going to fray at some point. I'm just going to assume that the ends of an adamantium coaster would stab into you like the worst cases of fiberglass. Like, why? What is it with you in adamantium thread? We're not even that deep. That would never work, and it would only hurt. It could only ever bring pain and suffering. Oh, someone died. Looks like Wilmar is dead. Now, hold on, because I got to spell his name correctly. Because I don't think I ever made a button for him. So. Dwarf kill. Wilm. Wilm for RRR underscore B-U-T-C-E. There we go. And someone else is going to the hospital, probably. Because I'm assuming they got hurt. He just showed up. He just showed up at the hospital and he teleported me away. You can tell because the water got bloody. That sounds like weak will they'll speak. Also, I still be alive and kicking. Um, I believe you are, Zastiver. If you type in dwarf, Zastiver, it's the same script. So if you don't have a dwarf, you get a new one. If you do have a dwarf, the bot will send you a whisper that you're alive. 
So this is who he fought. Judy, I guess, is the only injured one. I love our little dwarven car wash here. Yeah, get clean. What are you doing? Diplomat. Shouldn't be any diplomat here. Why is there a diplomat? Oh, because of the traitor. Okay. Whew. Yeah. Adam and Team Whirl Barrel. What? I love the idea of the Adam and Team Whirl Barrel. That one I could see. But again, you guys are like so far end game. Like, hey, when you make a level 20 D&D &D character, are you gonna buy arrows? <laughs> You're not wrong though. That would, that would be a dwarvy thing to blow it on. <laughs> like I can at least see the utility of that one. This is my wheelbarrow. How light is it? Negative. What? If you put the rock in this wheelbarrow, it's just physically lighter. Clearly, I must receive the most effect avenue military weapon ever, the adamantine mace. If I made you an adamantine mace, you wouldn't even be in the military. I would have you as the uh, the hammerer, just hammering everyone with little eek, like a little squeaky hammer. Though, if you're really skilled at it, I wonder if you could, like, eventually just, like, brain people if your skill's high enough. Like, just a sheer skill. Somehow you're using it to snap their neck or something. Just snapping their neck with feathers. All right, the quartzite bookcases are being made still. The button for a bookcase is Alt-C. I wonder, I can't remember it. That, 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 it will be there. What has that brought me to? Total number of each described, boxes, bags. I need writing material. I had a squad of adamantine mace lords. The results were horrific for the not dwarves. Yeah, I would assume that like at some point if you had e enough skill that you could still just make do. The guild hall petition has been ignored. Yeah, because I'm working on it. Jesus. We want guild halls. All right, what do you want with them? Guild halls. Hold on, I need to look up. I think I usually just trade for writing materials. I don't think I remember how to make them. Dwarf, fortress, writing, materials. I know it's like a little scribe thing. There's a DF hack script. I don't care about learning things. I like that weird lever. Permits visitors, often bringing books of their own. These scholars will engage. I don't want to bring in visitors. They always screw you over though. Sometimes write their own books. You need your writing supply materials. Okay, so what is it I need? Containers to store writing material, blanks, choirs, blank choirs and scrolls, not paper sheets. They must be made into blank scrolls before writing. So I just need a scroll? Blank choirs and scrolls. Books use sheets from plant fiber created. Okay, how do you do it? Codices, that's what I'm more used to, and scrolls. Different methods of creations. Okay. I don't want to track them down. I want to see how to make production. Choirs are made from sheets at a craft store shop by a dwarf with book binding. Only a single sheet is needed per choir. Okay. We got sheets. I've been buying tons of sheets. Build, workshop, craft dwarf. So it should be a craft dwarf because it has to be down here next to the paper. So we'll put another craft dwarf down here by the paper. You need to make book bindings and or scroll rollers? What? Book bindings and or scroll rollers. Scroll, roller, whatever that means. Uh, rock. Five of those. 
book binding rock. Five of those. Ah, uh, yes. Schist. And you will be schist. What got suspended? Slate table in the bookcase got suspended. Why? Unsuspend. Components made of wood or stone are produced at a craft store shop, metal at a metal smish, and glass at a glass furnish. Well, that makes. A scroll is made from a single sheet and a scroll roller. Choirs are made from sheets, only a single sheet. Only a single sheet is needed for choir. Codices are then created from one thread, one book binding, and a written on choir. Codices. So I want to do choirs to make codices, because I like codices. They're easy to figure out. So complicated. Eventually the head. <laughs> I'm getting the image of the Hulk buster. Go to sleep, 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 go to sleep. <laughs> Just fucking slamming the face over and over again. One of my friends never heard of the Locate Town bomb. Well, they never heard of Locate Town's amazing. How about a room expansion so I can add right with the nobles? I don't have any nobles, dude. Are you saying you want an even bigger room? We don't have nobles. You're trying to impress no one. There's no one. Look, at best, I have a mayor, and I haven't even given the mayor an office. I should probably do that now that I've said that out loud. The mayor is very salty at me. He hasn't had an office in forever. The mayor's office should be on the first floor, right? Yes. I can make a bigger room, but there's nothing to go in it. It doesn't make sense. You should give me an office. Okay. I'll make another room. And then I'll make the old bedroom be the new mayor office because it's close to the middle, I guess? Question mark? Ah, uh, okay. How about, nope. Needs to be eight. I can do that. <laughs> It'd be a really grandiose bedroom. <laughs> I'm not sure what the point of it is though. There's no dwarf that cares. A statue of a grumpy dwarf for the mayor. A grumpy dwarf. I don't know how to make one of a grumpy dwarf. Is there a way to do grumpy? Statue, image, new image, creature, dwarf, one dwarf, action. What would be grumpy? Not cringing, not laughing. Wouldn't be weeping. Weeping's not grumpy. Dejected? Dejected is the only thing I can think of for grumpy. Dejected and contemplating? I feel like that would be it. Dejected, the dwarf looks dejected, and the dwarf is contemplating. The end of quakes. I want a three by three engraved room with with naked vampire women built into the wall with a window. What? I don't even understand what that means. All right, we'll we'll do a grumpy we'll do a grumpy thing. We need more doors though. I don't have doors now. JMQ door rock. Two rock doors. We'll make them out of slate. We can have slate upstairs. There's a bed. I don't know why I have an excess bed, but I have an excess bed. 
put an extra bed in there. This needs to be smoothed over. She will never die. So she'll be there forever. I want a temple dedicated. What? So apparently I have have artifacts and all but one of them is a door. <laughs> That's actually good though. No, 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 no. Hold on. Are you saying that you have a bunch of artifacts in your base and all of them are doors? You, you've won. You know that, right? Like I'm being serious. If if what you're saying is true, you understand it. That's like, no, you you're you're good. You, you've won. You're immortal. An artifact door can't be destroyed. So if in any hall you have one or two doors, you just lock them before the enemy gets there. Even a building destroyer can't destroy an artifact door. So you 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 just win. Like they can't get through. You you have like the Moria things. I have a table. Bow down before my table. All right. Uh, I'm going to transfer the Kranit Coffer over the Gabbro Cabinet and the Schist Statue. It's going to be a container. I wait for them to get uninstalled, don't I? I'll leave it as your bedroom for now. Actually, what is dying over there? Why is dying? Huh? What is dying? Oh, that dwarf who had a mood. Do I not have any graves anymore? I don't even know where I'm keeping dead people. Where do I keep dead people at? Where's the dead people store? There it is. I have coffins. What? What is dying? What is dead? Did, did they take it out already? That was on this floor. I think he's carrying it, whatever it was. A melon leaf? Hopefully whatever it is, it stopped rotting. Build statue. You had the fox woman statue, I think. Why is there another statue of a dwarf? It was a dejected statue for the mayor. So the new statue goes in here for the mayor. I still don't know what the Mr. Man statue is. No one will tell me. Um, chest. Should be another one. I'll just do it on a course side. This doesn't hurry up. What is the dumbest artifact you ever had a dwarf make? I think the dumbest artifact I've ever had a dwarf make was on stream. I think I had a... I think I had a dwarf... What was it he made? He made something, he made some like not useful thing, like a cabinet or something. And he, he made a stone cabinet and it used like three raw adamantine stones. So it didn't even get like the full effect or like the full worth of a processed adamantine. It was something dumb like that. I think that was the dumbest one I've ever had done. Or I had someone make an adamantine blowpipe or something stupid. The Willing Holes, a donkey leather skirt. There is that one. I've had awkward ones. There's the granite coffer. We need the doors. Did I not order doors from you? Hold on, F4. Where are my doors? He's still making it. Oh, we have empty squares up here again. Question, did you grab these stones? They did grab the stones. We're making progress. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. I grabbed you so I could use the sheets to make, I keep forgetting what this is. Okay. 
You have to use this to make a choir, not a scroll. You need the choir from the sheet. We'll do five choirs, assuming I've not screwed this up. A slave mug is my personal fave for useless things. Who needs a one ton plus cup? But it looks fabulous. Um, coffer, cabinet, your statue, needing transfer your bed. Okay, now this would be Zastifer's bed. Now this can go away. Now I can build a table in here and a chair. This can be the mayor's office. The office should be engraved so that the mayor is happy. Engrave. Spider says he wants to be in the military. Oh, uh, what evil are you doing to me, Spider? I'm losing a stone worker. All right. Where is. Oh, I gotta reread, anyways. Where is Spider? Spider Venom. Spider Venom, the stone worker. No, wait, no, you are a stone worker. I'm an idiot. Spider Venom, the enlisted. Commit that through. Also real quick. Hammer dwarf, spear dwarf, wrestler. Of our dwarves, none of them even count as like military people yet. I guess they're like manually assigning them weapons or something soon so that they can get proper training. Slate door, slate door. Which means I should now be able to resize this. Can't do that corner because of the statue. I only, I'll, you know, if I take, if I get rid of that statue, put it in the middle, you'll be good. All right, now it's the chair that makes the office, I believe. Yes. That's your statue. Also, should probably be moved somewhere more in the middle. But anyways, assign this to I think Coca Cola. I'll allocate to mayor. If we look at the mayor, you're still complaining about your bed and you don't have a dining room, but your throne room is awesome. So what if you eat while you work? We have halved the value by doing this. I, I, I realize this. However, because they're both so good, you're fine. I knew you needed other things, a weapon rack and an armor stand. JMQ, weapon, rock, one, Q, armor, rock, one, Details. Court site. Court site. What else did you need as a noble? Another chest. JMQ. Coffer. One. Court site. There you go. Now the mayor can be less angry. And what I can do probably is that and we are going to remove an engraving hopefully this doesn't piss him off it's only slightly detailed we'll dig there not there what is what is happening here what what, what are you doing just there why is the one to the right blinking just a graphical gitch rod tixer you've gone into a mood hopefully you don't go crazy He claimed a workshop, clothes making workshop. So it's probably gonna be, he's, he's moving. He, he's moving with the purpose, build door. Need a new door, JMQ, door, rock, one. Screw it, court sites. Zero. In this way, I can change this to be the mayor's bedroom to be auto allocated with the mayor and the mayor should not complain. And then also now there's technically a noble a nobleman with a bedroom, so you can say your room is bigger. Don't forget to move my statue. Your statue's already moved, dude. That was like the first thing I did. Your statue of a fox woman. This statue you're looking at was the statue someone else requested. Someone had requested a statue of a dwarf looking grumpy. That was you. You wanted the grumpy dwarf for the statue? Yeah, I already did this. We're good. 
I am all kinds of on that ball. Got to engrave that. Put a bed in here. With a cabinet. And a chest. And then there would be another chest in here. I think that would handle his knees. I just need the one door in the middle. I'll still do my other work if you give mil military any time off. No, be, like, that's one of the things for the military. Like, I've turned off all the other... I turn them on in case of emergency. But I gotta... We gotta get them doing training almost constantly. Because I don't have, like, a really good training regime right now. Regime. It's just, hey... Half of you guys, 24-7 training. I don't have months off or anything. Because the thing is, if you get them to a high enough level and then eventually they, like, do a fight or something, they'll click over into Lords and be fine. Like, they won't mind if you give them, like, long things. So, if you're going to have a dwarf in the military, you got to, like, really get them in that military mindset. Didn't I join the military? Yes. You are a wrestler. A lot of people are just wrestlers. Not a lot of them have gotten weapons for some reason. We've been buying weapons. I don't know why we don't have many, but we've been buying weapons. Okay. This goes to Coca Koala as the mayor. This resizes to Coca Koala as the mayor. Now I gotta figure out where Coca Koala's bed is and kick him out of it. Coca Koala's old bed is no longer his old bed. Ah, eh, whatever. We have enough. Yeah, we don't have anyone without a bedroom. So now the mayor still needs that weapon rack and armor stand. That's what I was missing. Build rack and armor stand. Ta-da. Actually, no, I don't like the armor stand there. Build armor stand. Other corner. Now... The mayor is happy. He wants two spears. Does training ones count? I want to make spears. I'll make two iron spears. I'll get him to calm down for a minute. I wanted to be a Marksdorf. Yes, but I can't have you being a Marksdorf as of yet because I don't have enough people to make a squad to be a Marksdorf. At best, I got two people right now that want to be Mark's Dwarfs in the entire base. I don't have enough. <laughs> Even if I made a squad of like unnamed civilian dwarves, we don't have the things set up for them. We, we don't have the infrastructure because Mark's Dwarfs are like the most difficult thing to actually get to work correctly in this game. If they don't work correctly, they're just dead. Looks like they made your spears. All right. That one's done. That one's done. Those two will be done now. And we are near the end of the stream. So this will probably be the last push. Don't request any more because I already got 10. All right. We good? We're good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. Five, one, two, three. Two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, oh. Ta-da. As you requested, so have I pushed. Which means Domine's last request, Mr. Man's last request, the statue is done, and spiders in the military. We are all caught up on requests. What was I doing? We are nearing the end of the stream. So is there any open project I have that I need to close? <sighs> this needs to get moved out of here. I like how that's getting filled first. That'll get moved out. We got everything kind of sorted up above. We have someone having a mood right now. Did he begin? I don't think he began. 
How have you not begun with all that? Are you kidding me? Did he begin? No, he didn't begin. Okay, what do we have? Cloth, cloth, stone, shiny bone, bone, rough log. Bone, bone, rough log is where we are. He wants another cut one, doesn't he? Bone, bone, rough log. Bone, bone, rough log. He wants another cut. All right, do I still have that jeweler lying around? This is why I haven't gotten rid of this entirely yet. Uh, red pie rope. That seems good to me. Do now. Like this one jeweler, I don't like where it is, but somehow it's like the most critical thing in the entire game. No, no, why would we, why would we slaughter an animal and cut a tree? No, no, I was, okay, so if you look, He's saying what he needs to have done, but if you hit T, you can see what's already in the building. Oh, that's not the right one. If you hit T, you can see what's already being used by tasks. So I was reading aloud his last two steps. Bone, bone, rough log. So I was letting him cycle until I saw the pattern, bone, bone, rough log. Whatever was after bone, bone, rough log is what he's stuck on. Yeah, no, so as soon as we cut this gym, we should be good. And he just went into a mood too, so it's not like we're like running out of time or something. Cue the, the freaking Sonic the Hedgehog drowning music. -na 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 -na. Um, smooth that just because I want to. Make it look all nice. If we look, oh, wrong one. Okay. I think we made some choirs. No, we're not making choirs because nobody is a book binder. I haven't made a book binder. I haven't done that in like, I don't even think I have a job for book binders. Let me go to one of my haulers real quick. My neck just popped. Book binding. Book binding. It's all the way at the end, isn't it? Book binder. Not green thumbs. Haulers. This man's my best book binder. Well, guess what? Boom, you just became one and a paper maker. I don't have a job for you yet. You're not a hauler. I just keep going to green thumbs. I don't know why it's doing that. Go away, hauler. All right. Someone who makes books and assembles the books. What, what is it called when you like buy the kits from a store and you like assemble it yourself? Like if you had like a Zelda thing, Zelda thing, a Star Wars thing or a Warhammer 40K. I forget, what are, the, what are the little plastic things called? The thing you cut off. I don't remember what it is. We'll leave him alone for now. He's got the jobs active, but I got to make a job out of what he's doing. Cause I don't think I ever made a book binder. I don't think anything in here is book related. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't think I'm seeing anything book related. Yeah, all right. What, what the hell am I just click? I'm back. You go up, then minimize. There we go. Now he should be making the choirs. We're good. Sprues, yes. I was gonna call him the Sprueman. Because his job is to make the thing that assembles the stuff for other people to use. It's a completely well thought out plan that would not at all confuse anyone later in time. All right, Rod Tixer is good. He has begun a mysterious construction for clothes making. A cotton artifact that includes a ton of gems, some bones, and some slate. Please be a cape. That would be awesome. Do like a Superman cape. Please be a cape with like a picture of something on the back. That'd be the greatest artifact to end on. Of all the word hope somehow. There's nothing more to catch. Why are you trying to catch things? 
I don't have anyone working on fish right now. No one has any fish cleaning skills on. Stop it. Why do you hate me, Fisher dude? Socks inbound. Hold on, I'll leave that alone. We, we need a guy to do fish cleaning. We'll have one. I don't think I have a fishery to do the one. Fishmonger? Yeah, fishmonger. Did you say socks inbound? Oh, for, for the artifact. I don't know. You say inbound, I'm thinking artillery terms. Rod Tixer, oh wait, no, sorry. Rod Tixer the first Samora Stesh of the Weaver's Guild has created Koman Robek Doring Goor, a long cotton skirt. She claims it as a family heirloom. Koman Robek Doring Goor, spread barb the diamond bow. Oh, a long cotton skirt. That sounds painful. You almost had boobs. You almost had boobs. Worth 88,080 dwarf bucks. This is a long cotton skirt. All craft dwarfship is of the highest quality. It is encircled with bands of cotton and round tanzanite cabacons made from cotton cloth. The object is adorned with hanging rings of red pyrope and menaces with spikes of slate and red pyrope. On the item is an image of Kogan Gravelbite, the dwarf and dwarves in cotton. Kogan Gravelbite is surrounded by the dwarves. Derek relates the ascension of the dwarf Kogan Gravelbite to the position of king of the past palace in the year one. On an item is an image of the exact same thing in reindeer bone. The item relates to the exact same thing it did previously. On the item is a third image of the exact same thing. And this image is in wild boar bone. Kogan Gravelbite is of course becoming king of the past palace in the year one. On the item is an image of Bimble Torch Sabers, the dwarf and dwarves in date palm wood. Bimble Torch Sabers is surrounded by the dwarves. The arc relates to the appointment of the dwarf Bimble Torch Sabers to the position of general of the past palace in the year one. She really liked that ascension, huh? Like with these two friends, spread barb the diamond bow. That just sounds bad. It does not sound good. All right, we're making the choirs. The choirs, the choirs count as writing material. We haven't turned them into codices yet. We can do that next time. A choir is not a codice, but it is a writing material. I don't know if they can write new things. But now they have stuff to do. I'm probably going to need to start appointing a scholar though. So I don't know what it does to choose who's doing what, but an excavator is not always doing a job. So Bear Grylls 88 is our first scholar. He's gonna get his brain on. Also, while I'm here, what, we were at like, what, 60, 40? Holy shit, retired Navy vet has chilled the fuck out all the way down to only 11,000. He is no longer our angriest dude. We have, we have wrenched him from the precipice of depression that was unceasing and brought him down to just being slightly annoyed that you're talking to him. But that's fine. That is fine. I swear to God, if we can get him to negative 99,999, I'm gonna consider this a success story. It will be the story of the base. Ooh. All right, so we got a library. It's got writing material. It says desired. Oh, that was two. Numlock isn't on. Uh, I'm gonna set this to 15 just because. We have 15 bookcases, 15 writing material. That makes sense in my head somewhere. Ooh. Well, we need to send him to his VA appointment. You're so mean. You're so mean. Speaking of which, I have a VA appointment coming up. Is that on an important day? No, that's on a Thursday. We're good. It doesn't interrupt anything. Yeah. They, last time I was there, they were like, oh, by the way, did you know you haven't been to the optometrist in two years? I was like, I hadn't really noticed COVID and all that. I kind of just didn't really need to care. My glasses still work. And they're like, oh, okay, maybe you should go again. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> so I, I, I've got to go in and see if my glasses are still good and or see if someone was just being passive aggressive and I just didn't see something. 
you should go again. <laughs> Why is that so mean? <laughs> All right, so recap for today. We made a library. We don't have anything really in it. We got a lot of blank books, but boy, is it a library. Of all the libraries of the world, it sure is one. We got everything on the top floor cut out. I gotta put one back, so we now gotta do a fishery. And I don't have anywhere in the base that I wanna put this dude. Like, why are you here? All right, here's what I'll do. I'll put the fishery here, and then I'll put a food thing here. My idea is if he brings the fish back, it'll slow him down if it's not right where he is. And this will only do unprepared fish. This is my thought. I don't know if it'll work. There you go. And the fishery will work fine. So we got everything brought in other than trying to get rid of the shells that we nearly got rid of and they're about to come back in full force. We cannot escape the shells. Shell is life. Uh, um, Trade Depot is now established in a semi not at all completely protected situation that will prevent trees from interrupting. Down below, we finally got most everything on the first level that wasn't supposed to be here out of here. We've almost, we nearly cleared out the halls other than we still have a jeweler's that is got a sock pile in the, in the way. And right now we have those empty pots that I had made when I couldn't get the plants to work. We got the food production down in here. If you look, our kitchen's back up to 2000 when we were below 200 at one point. We didn't do anything to the hospital, but the hospital did prove effective as we fought off an endless series of goblins with the MVP, of course, being Azrakhan, I think it was, with nine kills to his name, jumping from I haven't killed anyone other than a duck to the single greatest dwarf we'd ever had, and he didn't get any injuries. We have moved the armor and ammo up out of the way so we can afford to stockpile more and created more place for the ammo to get stored in here. Bunch of that ammo is individual bolts, so we'll probably melt them down at some point just to see if we can get them out of here. Our military has gained a rather large amount of skill between combat and just their endless training. Now, a bunch of them are listed as just simple wrestlers, but if nothing else, they got a massive amount of discipline and fighting skills. So they'll be good to stay out there and do whatever they need to do. They need to work on wrestling, but we didn't have many people with wrestling so no one could teach wrestling. We need a higher skill to make sure no one grapples our head and just, you know, shakes us to our neck snaps. Our prevalent skills appear to be axe, dwarf, spearman, and sword dwarf, which means that I haven't been able to get any whips from the humans, or at least not any good ones, because they're awful. No one is using mace dwarf, and we don't have any pike users. We have one gentleman doing the tried and true tradition of being a hammer dwarf, and that is Domine, but of course our MVP, he's axed all the way. If we continue down this, we get to, we have now started expanding into the cavern layer. It's close to where we need it to be of 115, so we just went with it. We now have a fantastic library down here with nothing in it, and we moved some of our clothes production down here. Now, it is slightly far away from where the plants are in the plant processing, but we have plenty of dwarves to carry the cloth from up there to down here, and this is close enough to where the silk will be that right now this is just gonna have to be a nice middle, middle area. This isn't where I would have liked this production, but seeing as how we're part of the cave, we have to be down here anyways for the silk, so we're just gonna go with it. Also within the cavern layer, we've been tracking Enol Eris Datot, the forgotten beast who has killed two or three other forgotten beasts today because he cannot be taken down and we don't even know what his poison is because I don't think anyone's lived long enough once they were hit by it, which is a terrifying thought. The last level we have is our second layer right now. We have not gone deeper. And for the most part, we have built out the rooms that it does need to have. I do still need to bring a light well from up top to down here, meaning we are gonna need a food production facility. Whereas what is a food production facility upstairs down here is being used as a metal one because the metal one's supposed to end up even lower later on. So we'll have to kind of do what we did up above and use this area down here for some metal product, um, for some food production. But in the short term, we could probably just continue piggybacking off the one upstairs because we're only about 30 Z levels off. So they only really come down here to work on stone or go to sleep. It is slightly far and is not preferred, but we can continue to make it happen. I believe that is everything that we have done today. 
yes, we got a lot done. I'm actually kind of surprised with how much we did get done. This was a very successful run through. Oh, and we got the mayor. We got the mayor to, you know, have an office so he can stop complaining. Um, new followers we got today were Spider Venom, Damashki. I see you doing it. Hold on. I need to switch back and forth. I don't have the animation on that screen yet. I don't know why. I always bring up when that happens. I don't have the animation. But also, I need to do it anyways just to refresh the list so it's on the YouTube archives. There we go. Kisafa, Spider Venom 5765, Rod Tixer, Zakutsu, and Damashki. Thank you all so much for following. Uh, Zastifer, thank you for the bits and your crazy jealousy slash anger over the possibility of a noble having a bigger room than you, even though we don't really have a noble and needing to punish the mayor with a grumpy statue, prompting me to give him a room with which to have a grumpy statue in so you can prove your superiority over the mayor. I'm gonna take a quick look online to see if there is anyone to raid. We might just keep this within Dwarf Fortress because usually around this time there might be someone. Salford's doing Dwarf Fortress right now. Yes, we will raid Salford Sal. We like Salford Sal, she's good people. Um, I've already forgotten how to raid. Raiding is impossible. I'm probably gonna get an we'll ad looking Salford at my own channel. Don't, we like Salford. don't interrupt me, me, I'm me. You can't be me. Raid Salford, I always forget there's an underscore, no underscore. Raid Salford Sal. There we go. When we all show up, uh, we don't have Azrakhan in chat right now. I was gonna say everyone put in Azrakhan as MVP, but really what we are going to put in is no one can beat Enol. E-N-O-L for our Forgotten Beast. So no one, if I can spell, can defeat Enol. There we go. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys on Monday with Final Fantasy IX. Same awesome time, same awesome place. I've got the wrong thing up. Everyone have a good night, a great weekend, and hopefully you make your plane or they get you there fast so you can save your, your puppies. I'll hail the puppies. Everyone have a good night, a great weekend, stay safe.